Well, 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 if it isn't you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to uh, uh, another live stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. I'm Johnny Chiodini. And uh, uh, don't worry, I won't be doing that voice uh, in Oxventure Presents uh, Deadlands. Um, but hi, it's it's very good to see you all. Uh, today, we're streaming Hard West 2. Hard West was the first ever game I reviewed for Eurogamer.net. I quite enjoyed it. And uh, so I thought, let's, let's do the sequel. And uh, as you may well know, um, Oxventure, which is the, uh, the well, the role-playing channel, uh, to which I contribute... Uh, is beginning a brand new season tomorrow, which is um, Box Venture Presents Deadlands. We're going to be playing Deadlands The Weird West, which is... Basically, Deadlands was the first ever RPG I, I played, and I love it, and it will always feel like home uh, to me. So I'm really excited we're going to be playing it. Um, uh, so I thought today, why not play something wildy westy and drum up some, uh, some, um, some, of, that, some of that good old-fashioned excitement... <laughs> For, for a thing that's happening tomorrow. So, um, yeah, going to stream uh, Hard West today. Um, if you've got any questions about Deadlands as, like, a setting or uh, how the rules work, etc., etc., because it doesn't it doesn't run on a D20 system. Uh, it runs on the Savage Worlds rule set, which is um, notable for not being D&D. &D. Um, and I love it. Uh, just let me know. There's only so much I can tell you about the, the show itself and the characters and the campaign and everything. Um, I, I've i been authorised to sort of, you know, like, tell a tell little, little, little bit, maybe. But um, yeah. in general, we're going to be doing some um, some turn-based, wild, weird, west, shooty business. And I'll be talking like, um, well, like... Uh, like I do when I stream, I suppose. So there we go. Um, before we jump in, I've got uh, two superb chats to read. Um, Ducks piloting a mech duck has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny and Alice, please hope all are well. Bought Strange Horticulture the other day, thanks to you Johnny, and enjoying it greatly. Also looking forward to the Deadlands premiere tomorrow, uh, even though I'm back in work after a week. Back in work? That doesn't sound like fun at all. Um, but I'm glad you're looking forward to the premiere -er -er -er. It should be good fun. Um... Invisible Ghost, uh, sorry, Invisible Goats says, Howdy, Johnny. Last time I supered, I had to send 400 emails. Today, I can't email. In conclusion, yeehaw. P.S. I finally joined the Patreon. Have monies. Thank you very much, Invisible Goats. That is very, very kind of you. Uh, I do have a Patreon. There's a link in the description of this video. Um, welcome aboard. It's very, very nice. Um, and I'm glad that you don't have to send 400 emails today. Uh, Pensword14 says, Can you sum up Deadland's premise briefly? Yes, I can. Uh, is the Deadlands spin-off still in Geth? No. Um, how dead are the lands? Not very, but that's the threat, nice witch. Who murdered the lands? The Reckoners are trying. Let's, uh, let's get this game underway, and then I will start explaining the premise of Deadlands. But first, thank, thanks me for playing Hard West. Like I say, uh, this is the first game I reviewed for Eurogamer. Um, so it's on, it's on, um, Steam. Uh, thank you for playing Hard West. I now have the iconic Duckfoot pistol. It's called a Duckfoot because it's got four barrels like the little webbed toes of a duck. So instead of going like about the place like a duck, uh, it's a gun. So I've got that. Uh, it'll become available after the first tutorial train mission, which is very nice. Um, so, uh, Deadlands. What is Deadlands? It's set in the Weird West, which is like an alternate history. I'm going to give you a very brief pressy before we get into Hard West 2 because I, I, I know there'll be an intro cutscene or whatever. Deadlands, set in the Weird West. So it's like an alternate history America where monsters are real, uh, demons exist. Um, this is also a world in which there is a miraculous substance called Ghost Rock, which was discovered in uh, California after an enormous earthquake, which kind of shattered the whole state and turned it into something called the Great Maze, which is just basically loads of earth that's been sort of thrown up. And it's kind of like, if you think of like canyons and stuff, that is most of California now. It's the Great Maze. Um, so Ghost Rock is this, um, it's kind of like, it looks a bit like coal. Um, but it burns considerably hotter, like way, 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 way hotter. And it screams as it burns, um, 
which is why people call it Ghost Rock, because it, it sounds like uh, the souls of the damned are being let out as it burns, which is kind of creepy. Anyway, um, uh, there, are, like I say, there are like lots of monsters in this world. Not everyone knows about them. Very, very few people, if any, know that um, basically there is the the mortal plane, the the normal. The normal, uh, the normal realm of, of people, and then there is a place called the hunting grounds, which is uh, where a bunch of sort of evil spirits live, and some of those evil spirits try to exert influence over the living world. Some of these uh, people are known as reckoners. There are, well, some of these evil spirits. Basically, there are some very, very powerful beings that are trying to basically um, fuck up Earth. They're trying to. Um, bring more demons through and uh, generally make the populace more afraid until it reaches a tipping point and basically hell breaks loose, which creates a, wait for it, dead land. So it's a dangerous world to be in, um, but you can make a cow poke. There aren't classes like in D&D really. You can have specific backgrounds, like there are magic users called hucksters, that's what Jane is playing. Um, uh, and there are sort of professional backgrounds, like you could be a lawman, or you could be uh, like someone who's part of a shady organisation called The Agency, which is basically the men in black, but in the weird west. Um, but most people are just ordinary humans. Um, character creation, I think, is brilliant, because you've got all your stats and everything, and I'll explain the dice a bit later on. But um, the most important thing about character creation in Deadlands is you take edges and hindrances, and these are things that make you better at stuff and also make you worse at stuff. So, for example, you could have an edge uh, where you're very handsome or very beautiful, and that makes you better at persuading people. You can have an edge that means you're really quick on the draw, uh, which gives you a, a, a bonus when you enter into, like, combat initiative. Um, hindrances are things that make you worse. So, for example... Um, you could have one arm, which means that you can't use two-handed weapons. That's a hindrance. You could have a hindrance where you are a drunkard. You can have a hindrance where you're vengeful and you never take prisoners, uh, or you're very easy to piss off. Um, and it's these things, it's these little things, and the tension between edges and hindrances. That's where the characters truly shine, for me anyway. And I bloody bloody love it. So um, there we go. Tom Harris says you can make a cow poke, did you just say? Yeah, like a cow poke, like a normal, you know, a person. Uh, right, three super chats, and then we'll get into Hard West, and then we'll keep talking. The pool is abstract, this on a super chat saying, because of social awkwardness, I have failed to mention for several months that I was actually at an Venture shoot as a runner in Feb when you all were discussing your Deadlands characters. Well, that's hilarious. Um, hello, the pool is abstract, how are you doing? Um, <laughs> I didn't realise. Um... Well, you you probably have a better idea than anyone else what's what's coming up, but I would urge you to shush 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 because uh, it's going to be great when it when it premieres. Andy's done such a good job on this. Matt Wetton's done a super chat saying hi, hope you're well. I've been busy coming up with a homebrew spell for my bard. It's a magic barrier. On a failed save, it transfixes the targets. I hope you like it. As after all, that's my wonder wall. I walked right into that, Matt. I walked right into that one. Damn it. Uh, Neko the Kitty said, Could you have a clockwork arm to compensate for the loss? Yes. Uh, Deadlands is kind of steampunky, so that you can have... Um, you could have a mechanical arm, absolutely. Brian Muller says, Can you take extra hindrances for extra edges? Yes, you can. You can make very, very flawed cowpokes. Uh, although, at the start, you can only take so many hindrances. But later on, you can acquire new ones. Sam Perry is on a super chat saying, this is Sam Perry's first ever super chat, forgive me, saying first ever super chat but long time watcher. Thanks for all you do, Johnny, you're a lovely person. We'll catch up with this later on VOD. I'm still at work but didn't want to miss a chance to send my thanks and pig snacks. Thank you so much. I assume you mean snacks for the dog, not <laughs> pork scratchings. Um, the dog is, you can't see her but she's in her crate and she's looking at me now because I mentioned her. Um, she is very sweet, although she needs a bath at the minute. Uh, and Amy Louise has done a super chat saying, sending pennies to get Watson and the cat's treats. Oh, my cat had to have minor surgery yesterday, so I'm watching today's stream while nursing her. Um, well, I hope um, the surgery went really well, and I hope that she recovers really, really um, uh, smoothly. Um, yeah, I can imagine that. That must, I mean, I've, you know, I went through Watson having a, a couple of surgeries last year, and it's always tense and rubbish and awful, even though you know they're going to come out the other side. So I'm glad it's all done with and you can just focus on getting your cat better. But yeah, 
Um, lots of love to you, and thank you for the super chat. Right, Hard West 2. Okay, choose your West. Easy. This mode is for players who prefer a story-driven playthrough. Nah. Uh, normal. This is for players who are looking for a challenge but have little experience in tactical games. Hard. This mode pr provides a fair tactical challenge for turn-based games enthusiasts. Enemies do normal damage. Nightmare and Nightmare Plus. Well, it hard was hard was the pre-selected one. Let's let's do it on hard mode because that feels like normal mode. So there we go. Um, right, Mr. Tom for the win says, "Right, I'm going for that walk. Everyone behave." Hello and bye, Mr. Tom for the win. I hope you're okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Action points. Moving, shooting, and using abilities can cost different amounts of action points. Every character starts a turn with three of them. When a character's action points are used up, their turn ends. This is kind of not. It's 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 turn-based combat. It's it's relatively XCOM-y, basically. <laughs> Skull and Boots says uh, it's called Hard West, not Normal West. Fair. Yeah. 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 Okie dokie. Amy Louise says, thanks, Johnny, at the moment. Ooh. Any idiot with a gun can rob a bank. Robbing a train? Now that's a real feat. So I got this tip from a guy about a train full of federal gold. Runs by a night, minimal crew. Folks call it the ghost train. Some even believe it's haunted. Me? I think it's a pretty good cover. So I've rustled up a posse to go after him. Flynn. Been on the green side, but probably the smartest of us okay. all. Clearly, I don't keep her around for her fists, but she's got darker talents. Ooh. The kind that don't bear dwelling on much. Laughing deer. Don't mind the name. Nothing funny about this one. An exile, even among his own tribe. What he did, I do not know. But I do know what he does, and what he does ain't pretty. Then there's Clive. Kestrel Colt, as the press calls him. Fastest gun in the West, they say. <laughs> and he don't argue none. He's my protege and my best Aww. friend. Me, I'm Jim Carter, gunslinger, outlaw, first rate gambler at your service. And very soon, a filthy rich man. And it's package time! <laughs> Hopefully my partner can get that. Fingers crossed. You were right, boss. They barely have any security. No passengers, too. I don't like this. Let's call it all. Go, go, go. Whoever boards the train first gets an extra pack. Well, this is new. The 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 train bit. Um. Also. Um. Poor Watson. They're just the weirdest noises. She only makes those noises when the doorbell goes. It's very, very weird. Um, right. Uh, I, you know what? It's it's funny that we should start with a train uh, train robbery because not to give anything too much away about tomorrow's Deadlands thing, it involves a train and possibly robbery. Anyway, hard. What's in? Hard West to Hard West to shoot Hard West to 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 Watson Come here Watson This is very unlike her to be Watson come here Come here Watson We do come here Come here I'm trying to do my job Okay, number one, Watson was making that very difficult. Number two, Hard West 2 Tutorial. It's hard to say in a British accent. Hard West 2 Tutorial. Hard West 2 Tutorial. Whew. Hard West 2. Hard West 2 Tutorial. Hard West 2 Tutorial. Not easy. Um, Brian, bloody hell, Brian Mullins has done a massive super chat. Thank you, Brian. That's very, very kind. <laughs> Hard West 2 Tutorial. Hard West 2 Tutorial. Hard West 2 Tutorial. Hard West 2 Tutorial. 
Hard West. Two, two, Hard West Choo Choo Tutorial? Hard West Choo Choo Tutorial. Yeah, K Galaxia says Hard West Choo Choo Tutorial. Nice which says this is the whole stream then, I guess. It feels like it. Okay, Hard West 2. It's for me. What is it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I got two of my friends a present because uh, they're really big fans of Fleetwood Mac. Uh, and I found a shirt that says Silver Springs. <laughs> Silver Springs deserve to be on rumors. <laughs> So that's exciting. I'm excited to give them those. Right. Okay. Bloody hell. Let's try and do a live stream, shall we? Um, Chris Rakowski said a super chat saying, Hard West 2, tutorial nil. Yes, exactly. Goodness me. Call Me Mug said it did. It did deserve to be on Rumours. It's incredible, that song. And the live version? Where she's just staring at him? My God, it's chills. Chills. Right. J. Appleseed says, okay, what have I missed? Nothing and everything. I've struggled to pronounce words. Um, I've struggled to start playing the game. The doorbell's gone. So we barely started, and yet so much has happened. Um, right. Hard West Choo Choo Tutorial. You can skip the Choo Choo Tutorial by pressing the skip to tutorial button. However, we don't recommend it. Even if you're experienced in tactics games, we have some exciting new mechanics to show you. Well, when you put it like that. Um, Aubrey Murray has done a super chat, uh, super sticker, excuse me, of a lime child that's like marching with pom-poms. So if you imagine you took a lime and you gave it little stubby legs and little stubby arms and then a face, uh, and it was a child, um, and it was really excited to be alive because he'd made it alive and it had pom-poms and was doing this, that's basically what we're looking at here. Thank you very much, Aubrey. Right. Okay. Okay, all right. Continue. Paul Harrower has done a super chat saying, well, 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 my very own birthday Johnny stream. You shouldn't have. Have a pint on me. Bloody, that's a big pint, Paul. Thank you very much. And very happy birthday to you. Um, I hope you enjoy your birthday stream. We're about to blow out the candles. And by blow out the candles, I mean blow away some enemies. Okay, this is fun. Click the highlighted cell and click the left mouse button to move Laughing Deer. Or move him up. Let me know how the audio balance is, by the way, now the, now the game's underway. I'd rather kill from up close. He'd rather kill from up close. All right, action points. Moving, shooting, and using abilities can cost different amounts of action points. Every character starts a turn with three of them, and when they're used up, their turn ends. Easy enough. Click the highlighted cell to move Laughing Deer to half cover, which cuts the chance to hit him by 50%. I remember now. Just casually getting on a train from a, from a running horse. Bloody hell. Camera control. Look around using the WASD keys, or by moving the cursor to the edges of the screen. Rotate the camera with Q and E, change floors with the scroll wheel, or with the R and F keys. All right. Now we're playing a video game. Titan Uranus has done a super chat saying, Have a good stream. I'll be vodding due to board gaming commitments. Mmm. Uh, unrelated question. Do you have any plans on playing Landlord's Super? Now it's out. I'm... Landlord's Super. What is this? First person, pers person life simulation set in the murky Midlands of the British Isle during the polarizing years of the 1980s. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Build stuff. Get drunk. Build stuff while getting drunk. Your choice. It, it looks quite bleak. So currently no, no plans, but I'll take another look. <laughs> uh, right. Camera control. We got it. Move Flynn behind this pile of crates to get into full cover, which provides even better defense. Well then. Sure. Go on, Flynn. Orthogonalist says, oh, I need to get back to Landlord Super. It's quite something. Well, all right. Well, you never know then. All right. Let's do this by the character bar. The bar above the character's head shows their hit points. Each attack deals some damage. When a character's hit points reach zero, um, a posse member faints, but enemies die in pain. <laughs> oh, good. 
Oof. Cookie Gap 94 says Bleak says the Bleak says the person who streamed a game about turning people into food. That was that was that was that was that was bleak as well. Cookie Cat 94. Right, time to shoot some bad guys. Alright, choose the shoot ability from the bottom panel. The percentage shows what the chance to hit that enemy is. Click the rifleman to shoot. Wilhelm! Wilhelm scream! Did you hear it? Bravado. Whenever a posse member kills an opponent, they get bravado and recover all their action points. Always look for opportunities to gain bravado. No risk, no reward. That is great. I love that. It's not dissimilar to um, Gears of War tactics where you have very few action points, but if you kill, if you get a kill, everyone gets one more, so you kind of chain it, but bravado, that's great. Bloody hell. Yes, please. Naka says, what about the game of occult murder in Dartmoor? Oh, do you mean, which one's that? Right, here we go. Okie dokie. Use your required action points to shoot another enemy. I think I will. Go on, Jin. How about we give the boneyard maneuver a try? Give the Sorry, did you hear that? How Hey Kestrel, how about we give the boneyard maneuver a try? Oh, Hobbs Barrow. Yes, I played Hobbs Barrow. It was very good. Oh, that was bleak. I see what you mean, Naka. Yes. That was fucking bleak. Um, Alex Tedenbaum has done a super chat saying, Hi Johnny, hope you're well. Rib's still broken and everything sucks. Need my prescribed Johnny Keo morphine. You are the best thing on YouTube. And the only thing on YouTube. Famously, as we've discussed. Um, I'm really sorry that your, um, your ribs are still broken and everything sucks. But I'm glad to be streaming. Uh, hopefully it will help. So Kestrel's Revolver has a chance to hit with a bullseye, which does double damage. So. Bullseye! The white portion of the panel shows the base damage and the chance to hit. The orange portion shows bullseye damage and the chance to deal bullseye damage. Hit chance depends on the gun used, character's traits, distance, and the target's cover. Okay. So, 100% chance to hit, tremendous. 15% chance to deliver bullseye damage. Let's see. Stand. Did it! Click the right mouse button to deselect current ability and move Kestrel Cult to a better shooting position. There we go. Kestrel Cult. Up he goeth. Rick O'Shea. Let me see. What do we have here? Um, Doc Zark has done a super sticker. The super sticker is of, well, if you've been here before, you'll be familiar with the blood pair. Uh, if this is your first time watching, um, shout out in the chat, actually, if this is your first time watching, because I know Oxventure promoted this stream, and hopefully a few of you have been enticed to watch. Um, the blood pear is basically, if you imagine a pear, you know, the piece of fruit that's um, that's smaller at the bottom, no, that's smaller at the top than it is at the bottom. It's pear-shaped, if you will. And then you gave it arms and legs and a face, and you animated it so that it was alive. And then it went horribly wrong, and it got a mug, and filled that mug with blood through possibly nefarious ne means, and was, like, delightedly, like, Waggling that mug around? That's the blood pair. That's what we're looking at today. Ah, oh, Nice Switch says, I've never caught a stream before. Hi, Nice Switch. Um, it's nice to see you here. Uh, my name is Johnny. I stream like, twice a week on Good Weeks. Uh, I also put out other stuff on the channel. I have a Patreon. It's, it's nice, you know. Um, uh, so, yeah. Um, I, hope, I hope you stick around. Uh, right, you have a significantly lower chance to hit enemies in cover. However, you can bypass their defences by using the trickshot ability. But remember, each ricochet lowers the chance of hitting. Also, enemies that are not in the line of sight of the posse will remain invisible. Okay. Alright, choose the trickshot ability from the bottom panel. Click the metal barrel to ricochet the bullet off it. Lead the line of fire, because you can choose where it goes, to the gunman and click him once again to perform a trick shot. This was something in Hard West, and I love it. Watch this. Get him. Bravado. Right the J Apple Seed has sent a super chat saying, Pig Tax, quote of the day, you don't have to test everything to destruction just to see if you made it right. Good omens. Hmm, it's a good quote. 
Bloody love Good Omens. I think I read it in one go on a long haul flight, which was intense but brilliant at the same time. I love Pratchett and I love Gaiman, so what's not to love? Right, now Kestrel Cult gained bravado. Continue the bravado streak and try to shoot the indicated enemy. This is only a 50-50 shot, mind you, and it's only 8% to give us bullseye damage. Missed. Missed, look. Luck. Damn! Kestrel, even Kestrel Cult misses sometimes, especially when he tries to shoot an enemy in cover. When a character gets shot or misses an attack, they receive luck points. You can use them later on later turns. Bloody love luck points. It's really good. You can have a shot that's not going to make it, and you'll be like, well, what if I just made it luckier? And then it was um, better than that. Um, for now, pick the heads down ability from the bottom panel to increase your chances of survival. Alright, let's hunker down as Kestrel Cult. There we go. Enemy turn! That's a rifle man? That's a gun man? This is also a rifle man. I reckon he's gonna take a shot at someone. Oh no. Uh oh. They flanked thingy. Oh no. Alright. Oh no! A rifle man on a horns! Oh, this seems fat. Ooh, there's a lot of them! That's another riffle man. It's quite fun when you see their ghostly outlines and no horses. That's very funny. Um, J Apple Seeds. No, already read that one. What was I going to read? Oh yeah, Jack Escaped the Box again says, Hey Johnny, how's the game? Please tell me it's fun and distracting work. Oh, hey, please tell me it's fun and distracting. Work, studying, and my business is shit right now. I'm sorry, Jack, that really sucks. Uh, we're still in the tutorial, but so far this feels very familiar uh, to Hard West, which I really enjoyed. Um, but I think they've gone for some pretty fun new mechanics. Right. Uh, now I can spend luck points to boost my chance to hit. First, pick the trick shot ability. Trick shot. Then click the luck button. Which is... What is that? Is that... No way. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just click the actual button. I don't know what that's bound to. Uh, to increase the chance to hit with your required luck points. Ah! Using those additional luck points raise the chance to hit. Shoot to kill. Bullseye! Change your character to Flynn by simply clicking her or by clicking her portrait in the bottom left corner of the screen. Flynn! You can also bypass an enemy's cover by simply flanking them! Yes, I dare say I can. So what, they want me to go here? Alright. There she goes. Change weapons by clicking the X button located in the bottom right corner of the screen. Uh, one sec, I just realised I was obscuring some uh, important information there. Alright. X. Now I've got Buckshot. You can shoot multiple enemies with a shotgun's Buckshot ability. Alright. Choose the Buckshot ability from the bottom panel. Watch out for friendly fire! Choose a target. Try to include both enemies in the cones area. Alright, well they're both in there. And that's definitely going to hit both of them. With a 15% chance to do bullseye damage. Alright, Flynn. This shotgun kicks like a mule. Laughing Deer's melee attack only costs 1 AP. He can perform a series of tremendous strikes or carry out a hit and run tactic. Nice. Okay, Laughing Deer. Where are we putting Laughing Deer? Laughing Deer's melee attack works best up close. No kidding. Choose the attack ability. That's how a real warrior fights. Click the gunman to perform a shattering strike. Oh! I thought he was going to jump off. Run and gun. With the right setup, Bravado allows you to perform an outstanding kill chain in one fell swoop. I hear my name. Move Kestrel to the indicated position. <laughs> nice, which says the laughing cow would destroy the laughing deer. <laughs> I'd just trample it, wouldn't it? Cows are heavy. Right, now choose the trick shot ability. Shoot the gunman! Bravado! 
deselect the trick shot, shot ability and move Kestrel to the indicated position. Choose the trick shot ability, shoot the gunman. This is very exciting. I'm big into this. Deselect it, move Kestrel to the indicated position. Choose the trick shot ability. Click the metal barrel to ricochet the bu bu bullet off it. Shoot the rifleman to complete the bravado streak. Get him. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's get rid of these complete guards. objectives. To complete the heist, follow the daredevil's mission objectives seen in the upper left corner. Good luck. Right, so seven out of ten guards dead. We've got to kill all of them and all posse members must survive. I reckon we can do that. Uh, Rose Zanzan has done a super chat. The super chat is blank. Thank you very much, Ash. I hope you're doing well. Uh, and AM, AWM Perry. I always want to say AMW, and I don't know why. AWM Perry is on a super chat saying, As a Pratchett fan, have you ever been to a UK Discworld con? Very different to most cons. Like a giant living room with, one, uh, with 800 mates. I've never been. Um, maybe I should. I don't, like, I don't really go to many cons unless I'm working them. It's a bit weird. Uh, Kestrel, Kestrel, Kestrel. Let's see. Out of view. I could ricochet that, but that's an invalid angle. A 75% shot's not dreadful. Let's try it. Boom! Bravado again. Uh, alright. Well, I'll tell you what I will do. Oh, they've all gone. I'll tell you who hasn't gone. What's the play? Ah, Jin. Right. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> oh, and then look—he's got—he's got himself—he got himself some bravado. Bang! Two dead. Oh, that's all of them. Get the whole posse to the passenger car. All right, that's the passenger car, I guess. So, Jen, I need you to hustle, baby. Okie dokie. And then we'll move Kestrel up. <laughs> Reese says, "Bang!" And the guards are gone. Dances with wolves, eat your heart out. Uh, okay. All right, Laughing Deer. Uh, we'll move Laughing Deer up. Done we'll keep him in cover just in case. Flynn's already gone, so Kestrel, we need to move up. We'll tuck Kestrel in here. This is mm, this is more just to get myself in good habits of giving people cover, really. We'll tuck him in there. Alright, one is in the car. Need someone dead. No, I'm alright for now, Laughing Deer. I don't need anyone dead just yet. Uh, we'll move Laughing Deer up there. Nice Rich says, I hope Barry Scott's doing okay. Yeah, me too. What is it about train robberies that are so exciting? I know that they're kind of like tropey in terms of the genre, Easy. but there's just something very cool about them. All right, Jin Carter. We'll stick in there. Bye, horse. I love how abruptly the horse stops running as soon as someone gets in the car. They're like, oh, no one on me then. I'll stop running. Fuck it. Right, all posses must survive. Posse members must survive. Oh, great, we've done it. A tunnel? There were no tunnels here on the Someone get a light. I can't see it. No, wait. Can you hear that? What the hell is happening? What is this? Stay calm. Oh! Well, this feels different. New objective, get to the train engine. What are you? Hellspawn! Oh, they've got eight health. Alright. Kestrel, I need you to do your bullshit ricochet thing. 75% chance to hit. I don't hate it. Let's take it. Stay. <laughs> Bullseye! Bravado! 
All right, that was pretty useful. All right, Kestrel. Tell you what we'll do now. I don't want to move you up too much. Ready you? When you are. I'm going to tuck Jin in there. All right, all right. Or maybe then I can tuck Kestrel in here. And then is... Can I get a trick shot? Out of you. I could off that. Trick shot. Let's try that. My switch says, okay, Barry Scott is, uh, he's not doing okay. Oh, no. William Barry says, I'm no expert. No, I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure that train has the wrong lump number of legs. On it. I don't disagree. <laughs> so much bravado. Oh, now I get why you're all doing Wild Wild West. It's because it's like the train in the wild, not the train, the big spider in Wild Wild West. Understood. Right, Flynn and Laughing Deer are out of um, AP. I don't want to move up too far because if I run out of action points, you need two to shoot. So I can only move one square's worth. I could go there. Let's tuck in there. You got it. Okay, now I've got two. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, they're both out of view. You hunker him down? Let's hunker him down. Heads down. Oh, the Hellspawn did nothing? Alright. That suits me down to the ground. Just point. One and Jin Carter. Let's do it. Whoa. Not enough AP? Why? Oh. What? Shooting for me? Aha. Ah, look. Shooting uh, whatever this gun is takes three AP. Can't do but shooting a uh, pistol takes two AP. Barry Wrongleg says, I just looked him up and Barry Scott's fictional. Yeah, he is. Karima says, cool, what's this? Like Spaghetti XCOM? Yeah. Uh, pretty much, yes. I was trying to come up with a pun on like spaghetti and meatballs. But the best I had was spaghetti and mutons? That doesn't really work so well. Can I reach that? I can. I can reach the hellspawn. Fuck it. Let's go hit him with an axe. Come on, laughing deer. Yes. That'll do it. All right. Now, laughing deer. Let's... I don't want to go into the next carriage for a while. Well, not for a while. I just want to get everyone further up before we see what's next. Let's do this. For example, Flynn. We'll stack her up here. Ray Fines has done a super chat saying, Hello, um... Hi, Johnny. Husband and I are taking our first vacation in years tomorrow. Have you heard of Meow Wolf in Santa Fe? We're going specifically to see it. Meow Wolf. No, what is it? It's unique and immersive art installation with multimedia elements and a mysterious narrative throughout. That sounds great. Oh, that looks weird. Oh, I hope you have a wonderful time. I've never been to Santa Fe. Uh, Nadia G has done a super chat saying, Hello, Johnny and Alice, please. I've been cranking out so many little crochet skulls for tiny skeletons. I've made 14. At this point, I might have my own small construction crew. Anyway, this game looks fun. That sounds like one hell of a project, Nadia. I hope you're having a great time doing it. Because uh, it sounds really fun. Crochet is nice. Sure. I really enjoyed picking it up recently. I still need to finish off the... the I'm making a cuddly yeah. toy Molotov cocktail, just for shits and giggles. Uh, I kind of need to finish it up, but I... Uh, I've been quite busy recently. Um, but, you know, hopefully soon. Alright, Flynn, you're up first. We're going to put you in here. Oh, I kind of assumed that there would be more things to kill in here. Because there are. Ah, my guess. Finally here. Oh, goodness. Mammon? Kill Mammon! 
He's got 30 health. Someone's had his Wheater Bix. No valid targets. But with a pistol, I can shoot. Let's shoot the house bot. Why not? My aim is Bang! PJ Buck has done a super are. chat saying, To VOD with me, but I wish everyone a wonderful weekend. Uh, with a black uh, heart emoji, purple heart emoji, white heart emoji, and a yellow heart emoji. And PJ Buck says, BNB and yeehaw! Um, incidentally, if you enjoy the intersection between cowboys and non-binary, or just trans stuff in general, I heartily recommend you check out Sweet Cowboy Blues. Sweet Cowboy Blues is um, a shop run by a trans artist, and it's fucking great. You can get, like, um, I've got a t-shirt, and it's a, it's a cowboy with a moustache and a hat holding a gun. And it says, we'll have no misgendering in this saloon, partner. And there's just loads of really love, like, lovely, like, uh, trans-positive, like, prints and, and shirts. Uh, I think occasionally tote bags. I'm not entirely sure. It's a great shop. It's absolutely incredible. And occasionally there are embroidered jackets, but they sell out, obviously, extremely fast. But yeah, good shop. Would recommend. All right, Kestrel Cult. I don't like your voice very much, but let's see. 75% chance to hit. We may as well do it, because if we get that hit, then we'll get bravado. Yes. Oh, Aiden says it looks like their website is on a break. Yes. Um, so you can follow um, Sweet Cowboy Blues is on Instagram. The guy who runs it, he's closed the shop for a brief while because he's been like moving house and setting up his studio again. And also just has been dealing with an astonishing quantity of orders, which is a nice problem to have, but also a problem to have. Um, so, yeah. Uh, ha like, I would find Sweet Cowboy Blues on Instagram and uh, follow there, and you'll get updates. Ah, missed. Damn it, Kestrel Cult. You hunker down, son. Need someone dead. All right, Laughing Deer. What's the All right, play? Jin Carter. Oh, Jin, you're miles away, my pal. Let's just get Jin all the way in there. Here I go. Emma Benton, hello Emma, says also if you like Red Dead Redemption 2, the voice actor for Arthur Morgan has said turfs ain't got no friends in Arthur's voice and several other fantastic phrases. Yes, please. That is tremendous. Dare we? Dare we go? We, we haven't got enough AP to get all the way up there. Uh, all right. Let's stick Laughing Deer back here. I don't want anyone that far forward. Let's put him in full cover here. I will. I'm going to keep him safe. Neurodiverse Games says, Yay, Hard West. Love Hard West. One, well, still my, making my way through this one. Uh, so far, it it's refreshing. It, I mean, this is still obviously just the tutorial mission, but it feels a lot like Hard West, but it feels a lot more streamlined. I remember the first Hard West. I think maybe it was the UI. It just felt a little bit like, eh, kind of trying to work my way through it. This feels very fluid and nice. All right, Hellspawn, what are you going to do? Oh, that's unfortunate. Good lord. Welcome aboard the last train to hell. The last train to hell. All right. Well, that Hellspawn can kiss my hell butt. I don't really know where I'm going with that one. Okay. 100% chance to hit Mammon. Mammon. To do 8 damage. 50% chance to hit this Hellspawn. If I use the pistol... It's 50... Uh, then... Okay, let's just shoot Mammon. 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 Let's just do it. Whoa! What? He just straight up died. Oh, there we go. Find and kill the real Mammon. There he is, look! Alright, but Jin got bravado from that, so I don't hate it. Ah, oh, I used my... Skin. Okay, all right. Now, oh wait, no, there's lots of them. Oh, it's all mammums. Mammum, 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 mammum. Nah, mammum, mammum, mammum. Uh, mammum, ba ba ba, is starting to burn. Nah, nah, nah. Should we just shoot this one? Or is that the real one? I guess that must be the real one, right? 
Stand back. Did we just accidentally find the real deal straight away? I think we did. Right, down you get, Kestrel. I mean, I hope we did. Laughing deer. Let's go. Let's go. Just whack him. Go hit him. Womp. And then can we hit him again? We can. Or we can move back to where we were. How many more? We've only got one more to... No, he's the last in the turn. Let's move him. Done and done. Let's put him done and done. Oh, no, wait. Flynn's got to go. Okay. Come on, Flynn. What if you shot him with a shotgun? I think it's worth it. Up yours, mamom. Nikose has done a super chat saying, This is for your Storyteller live play last week, as it was beautifully hilarious. Thank you very much. I'm hoping this also covers the cost of getting that curry you wanted that your partner doesn't like, and getting them a curry they like. Also, to the start with me, um, thank you very much. That's very kind. I actually didn't go for a curry in the end. I was going to do it, and then I was like, Oh, it's going to take too long for me to leave the house, and then like order it and wait for them to cook it, and then, and then come back and... Uh, I was writing and I was kind of on a roll, so I was like, I'm just going to push through, I'm just going to push through. Um, so I just made a, what did I eat? I ate something just quick that I could make on the stove. Um, but then I, I finished the first draft of the thing I've been working on, so that's nice. I'm now working on sort of the first round of edits before I send it to early readers. But yeah, no, I didn't get the curry. Sorry, everyone. I was so excited about it, and then I just didn't. Kira Cox says you could have called to order. Well, how does that work? What is this some kind of some kind of take away? No, you go to the place and you ask them to cook it. And then you wait while they cook it, and then they cook it. And then you leave. What is this calling? Next you'll be telling me you can do it online. www. I'd like some food, please. Dot. Dot com. Oh, 0800, I'm getting dinner. Call. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Snorf and Bass says calling to order is calling ahead to order it. So it's done when you arrive. No, I don't get it. You, you go to the place and you tell them what you... You tell them what you want. Or you write to them a couple of days in advance and say, I'd like to make a reservation. I don't... Huh. Okay. Well. Seems weird, but okay. You... If you're... If that's what you're all up to these days, then that's fine. Alright, Mamum. Wow, Mamum, you, you missed. Alright. Possibly genuine Mamum. Oh, that looks bad. Oh, oh! I think that's definitely the real one. Bloody hell. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, look, these are all illusory gun blasts. They're not doing any damage. Huh. EJ says, do you not send your order in by carrier pigeon? No, the last time I did that, they, I, they just brought me a bag of seeds. And the... The receipt said seeds, and it turns out the pigeons had changed my order when they got there. So, I just I don't I don't want to risk it, you know. All right, Flynn, shoot him. -hoo -hoo -hoo! Bravado for Flynn. Oh, she needs to reload? Oh, no. Yeah. No, she doesn't need to reload. Oh, that didn't kill him! Yeah. Alright, laughing deer. Can't miss when you're burying a hatchet in someone's face. I will. Yes. Please say all of the others disappear. Yes. Okay. What? Again? My, my. Such bravado. Fuck off. Ooh. What the hell? 
Oh, don't be so surprised, Mr. Carter. I am a devil after all. Uh, who do you think you are? The name's Mammon. Thanks for asking. I rarely have guests here. There's just no one fresh to play with. You like games, Mammon? Then how about a hand of poker? I win, you let us go and throw something in for our trouble. We lose? Well, it's your Well, call. well. So greedy, I love it. I'll tell you what. How about I toss in the ghost engine? Ooh. Just imagine all this power. It can make your wildest dreams come true. Win, and I give it to you. Lose. And it's so you dainty. Ooh, yeah, ooh. sure. Knock yourself out. Our souls, Jim? Our hell? souls, yeah. Shall I deal? We're using my deck. Oh. <laughs> Jukebox345 says, You ever just shoot a guy multiple times and bash his brains Remember, in and challenge him to a game of poker? One deal. High hand wins. Are you ready? Let's get to it then. Yeah. Uh. Yes, that's right. Read them and weep, devil. No. If you think that will make a difference. You could out cheat Fuck. me. Five of a kind. No, 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 what? no. This is some no. kind of a yes. trick. I don't even have a Joker in my deck. Now it's time to cash in those chips. Oh, no. Hold on. Oh, dear. Well, now we've got no souls. Alex Simkin has summoned the Blood Pair, which feels appropriate. This is just a big old pair. Big old pair. Standing there with a mug of blood going like... Bloo -loo. Christ alive. Jukebox 345. I cannot believe you just said that. I was about to not allow that chat message and then Emma approved it. So you know what? Fair enough. But good lord. He gads. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. Adam Ellis says, cough, cough, Jane's character, cough, cough. Yes. So as you may have seen, um, uh, you may have seen that um, Jane's playing a huckster. I'm going to, I'll tell you about that in a second. There's another question. Uh, Fonzie the Capybara says, Deadlands question, anyone taking any initiative edges or were they deemed too fiddly for transmission? No. Uh, Luke's taken one. I've taken, <laughs> I've taken an initiative hindrance. I won't tell you which one. You can probably work it out, but uh, we'll see. Um, right. Um, good lord. Heavens to Betsy. Um, what were we going to say? Uh, what, what, what was I talking about? Ah, Jane's character. So Jane's character is a huckster. Now, hucksters uh, are basically magic users in Deadlands. There are other kinds of magic users, but hucksters are kind of like the, the occulty ones. And basically, there was a guy called uh, Hoyle. Hoyle was basically a witch and he worked out how to do all sorts of different magics um but obviously people people tend to not uh enjoy uh, magics in the weird west like people are superstitious and you know they're kind of like Ugh, witchcraft and they'll burn people and you know do nasty things to them or at least that's how it was for hoyle so hoyle learned to um basically disguise his magics with sleight of hand card tricks um, and he produced a book called Hoyle's Book of Games, which um, is basically like a bunch of different like card tricks. But if you are a magic user, you can read it and be like, these are spells, and I now, now know how to do magic. Or rather, I now know how to do this spell or, or other. Um, so that's why hucksters kind of always have cards on them, because they're concealing magic. Like you get sort of ghost cards almost, kind of like fanning out. Um, and it's just kind of like, it's the trappings of, um, of their magic. And it's cool. It's very cool. And they can basically, every time they do magic, they, they basically, they 
in a split second have a game of poker with a demon uh, in the hunting grounds and they steal some of its power um, they can then sort of like there's a, so basically they get what's called power points and those fuel your magic but if you run out of them you can deal with the devil uh, and dealing with the devil you literally make hands of poker and see how many power points you get back and if it goes wrong then it, it backfires and really bad things really really bad things can happen to you it's tremendous um, it's very cool and it's very very Jane and just mm, I love it uh, Hugh says his Luke's hindrance that he has to destroy his voice for the entire show I don't know how he does it I don't know how he does that voice but he manages it it's, it's incredible um, Caitlin Southern has done a super chat saying usually VOD squad slash nap club boo shifts nap club though yeah but just wanted to offer sincere thanks to Johnny and LSPs for being an unfailing beacon of warmth and humanity in this increasingly grim timeline. Thank you, Caitlin. That's a really lovely thing to say. And your first ever super chat. Thank you. Um, I'm really glad you're one of the nap club. I bloody love a nap. I had a six-hour nap the other day. Some people asked, like, I, I told a friend this, and they were like, isn't that just a full night's sleep? And firstly, no. Uh, secondly, if you wake up in your, in, in your, like, normal clothes on the same day, it's a nap. If you sleep in your clothes and it's still the same day when you wake up. That's a nap. Uh, D'Artagnan has done a super chat saying, I raise? I have no idea how poker works, which might be a bad idea when playing against a literal greed demon, but here you go. Thank you, D'Artagnan. Uh, I fold. You you win. So now I owe you money. Huh. Interesting. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for the super chat. Poker is not really my game. I prefer to play other games, but I, I can respect it. Um, right. Uh, um, Barry Romlick says, Is Deadland still in Geth or an unrelated new setting? It's not in Geth. Uh, at least I'm fairly fairly positive that it's not in Geth. Um, Emma Blast is on a super chat saying, just dropping in to say, Hello, I used to have a computer game anthology of card games called Hoyle's Collection of Games. I'm delighted that's the reference. Oh, I didn't actually realise that. Huh. From yeah. Wow. Uh, right, let's continue. Gain the loyalty of your companions ain't going to be easy, but we'll reward you with unique traits and dialogue options. That's good. Uh, Alright, sorry, I was getting a couple of messages, but uh, there we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Click to continue. Wake the hell up, Jim. Come on. Open your eyes. So this is kind of the more... This is like... You know how in XCOM you've got combat phase, you've got like uh, missions, and then you've got sort of a strategy phase. This You kind of get a narrative phase in uh, in Hard West. At least in the first one. And the second one seems to be much the same. Um, ah, Lucy says, I think Andy said he tried to fit it in Geth, but it didn't work. Yeah, I mean, also there's no, you know, there's no pressure to set it in Geth. Geth is a very silly place. Um... So why not why not just set it in, in your own, you know? Um, Cheerful Spider is on a super chat saying, Happy Thursday, Johnny. If I were a huckster, I would simply die. I'm very bad at poker. Oh, no. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be either. Wouldn't be very good at it. Uh, right. Wait the hell up, Jin. Come on, open your eyes. I got to my... <clears throat> I got to my feet. No, no, that's going to kill my voice. I got to my feet. Feeling strangely light, empty, cold. Not just on the outside, but through and through. I spotted three saddled horses nearby, huddling together to keep warm. Do I ask what happened, or where did you get the horses? Well, what happened was my fault, so I'm going to ask where the horses came from. Where did you get the horses? You want to look them in their mouths? Do it later. Now let's move. We can't stay in the snow. Okay. We need shelter. Okay, Arthur, we need to get these people warm and fed. Madison Kirkpatrick has done a super chat saying hi Johnny VOD squad for me and I can't wait for Deadlands hope you're all having a good day having a nice one thank you I'm very tired at the minute I need like, well thankfully I'm going on holiday next week I should mention that um, uh, so Presney Chiodini is going to go on hiatus for a week there'll be an episode this Saturday but then there won't be one next Saturday because I'm going to be in America um, it only took us six years but my partner and I finally booked a honeymoon <laughs> so we're going to going to America for a week and it's going to be very nice um, but goodness me, I need a holiday. Like, I'm so sleepy. Um, yeah, just generally quite tired. Been pushing myself quite hard recently. It's almost as if people are conditioned to tie their self-worth into their sense of productivity, which is damaging. And just, like, 
a t just a tool of capitalism and the patriarchy, really. It's kind of rubbish. So I'm going to take a week off. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Elizabeth Rakowski is on the Super Chat saying, slightly late chiming in that I agree with the nap definition. I'm pregnant right now, so I'm napping a lot. Congratulations, Elizabeth. That's wonderful. I hope you're having an okay time with, with the pregnancy, and I hope, you know, for a, a, a lovely, safe delivery, and uh, all goes well. Uh, and enjoy those naps. Enjoy those bloody naps. Goodness me. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth, and thank you, Madison Kirkpatrick. You are very generous and nice. Right, then. Mm, 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 mm. Let's ask what happened. What happened? I got us out. That's what happened. No, get up. We need she to does not want to have a conversation right here, right now, does she? Adam Ellis says, "Hey Johnny, any recommendations for someone starting off streaming? Um, play a game that you are excited to play because enthusiasm is infectious. Um, kind of like narrate what you're doing and why you're doing it." I guess. It's like, it's kind of easy to assume that, like, it's, it's helpful rather to assume that people don't really know what a game is and to explain it to them. Like, it's, it seems like a, it seems almost patronizing, but it's useful to be like, this is Hard West. If you don't know what Hard West is, Hard West is blah, 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 blah. Uh, and also, be prepared that silences are going to feel thunderously loud and thunderously long to you. Like, if you don't talk for five seconds, you're going to be like, I'm choking. Oh, God. They're all bored. It's not as bad as you think. And sometimes quiet is okay. It depends on the vibe you're going for, obviously. If you're going for, like, full-on air horn energy drink, like, hype time first-person shooter action, you'll, you know, you do well to canvas some other streamers. But I sort of go for slightly chiller, <laughs> I would say. And so quiet isn't, isn't always that bad. No, that's as long as I can go without talking. It's it's re like, it can be nerve wracking, but just relax into it. You know, like, make the show you want to make, and then hopefully people will pick up on it and they'll want to watch it. So that's my advice. Uh, Akra Cat has done a super chat saying hi, Johnny and LSPs. I'm normally VOD Squad, and I've been binge watching old VODs to get through some difficult times. Thank you for all you do. Thank you very much for your first ever super chat, Akra Cat. Um, uh, I'm sorry you've been getting th been going through some difficult times, and I'm really glad that there's like, I mean, there's hundreds of hours of, of stuff to watch on this channel, um, uh, and I, I really hope it does does come in handy. Um, and shout out to VOD Squad, uh, love your work, all of you. Um, but it's nice to see you in chat as well, you know, as and when you want to make it. So yeah, um, right, uh, let's go. Flynn was trying to sound brave. But I'd never seen her so scared. And this snow. Snow? In June? In New Mexico? In this economy? Right in front of my salad? Welcome to the map. The map is used to explore the world and story of Hard West 2. You can visit many unusual locations and meet the individuals who live in them. Find shelter. New quest. Oh, this is fun. I oh, know this is quite similar to the old stuff. Destroyed comp. Here we are, look. Can we go get some lost supplies? No. Doesn't look like it. Alright, well, fuck that then. We can supposed to go try and snake our way. No, let's let's not bother. Let's go look at the ruined cabin, shall we? I think my nose is frostbitten. Acrocat says it does, thank you. I'm watching inscription now. I have gone back to inscription and I love it. I forgot how much I love that game, so I, I picked it up on because uh, it's on PS Plus at the minute. So I was playing it on PC before. I picked it up on PS Plus. I'm just sitting on the sofa playing it. it meant that I just I, I've caught up with where I was, and now I'm going to finish it, and then I'm going to start doing the endless like Casey's mod stuff of just being in Lashy's cabin, and I can't wait. I bloody love it. I just bloody love it. Uh, Acrocat says, "Oh, I've got Hobbs Barrel on my list next. That one is pretty full on." So. Look forward to that one. Give me a minute. It says, hey, Johnny, can't wait for tomorrow. Just dropping in to share some love. Uh, I can't wait either. I haven't seen it yet. And I'm so excited to watch it back. Because the amount of effort that Andy's put in to the planning and stuff, his execution was amazing. But also the amount of effort that's gone into the production is so good. Like, everyone's costumes are really nice. But the lighting and the way it's shot and the way it's been edited, it's just... Uh, 
it's great. Like it's, it really feels like a big step step up um, for the whole thing, and it's like it's so exciting. And like obviously, I'm really excited about this anyway because it's my favorite RPG. Like there are so many moments in the episodes we've filmed so far where I absolutely lose my shit. Like just. I abso like, absolutely lose it. We filmed two episodes yesterday, and I just, at one point, was like, like, I was at, it was like I was starstruck by something in a game. It was like I'd met a celebrity. It was really weird, but great. Uh, and I'm, yeah, really, really looking forward to it. Lucy says, I mean, the moustache was a pretty good sign of Andy's investment in it anyway, uh, in, in it already. I know, right? Like, he's gone the whole distance with it. I haven't trimmed my beard in a while. And, that, like, I really want to trim this, because it's obscuring, like, it's changing the shape of my face. It's hot and swampy in the summer weather. I think, because it's, like, basically, I'm done filming now until we film the finale. So I think I can trim this and grow it out again by that time. Or at least I hope I can. And I trim my beard tomorrow, because I need to. Um... Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, I, fuck, I love playing Nate. He's one of my favourite characters I've ever got to play. He's so silly. He's just like... He's just an old coot. Like, you know... You know that, like, that meme where it's like someone's first role-playing character and they're like, I am a barbarian with a troubled past on the search for justice. Yada, yada, yada. And then it's like someone's fifth, like, 15th D&D character and it's like, I'm a sentient piece of bread. Uh, being carried around by Mage Hand because I'm also a wizard. Like, that. Um, basically, when it came to it, I was like, uh, what's my backstory? And I was like, um, my backstory is I'm old. Like, have you done anything in your past? Loads, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is any of it relevant? No. Everyone involved is, like, long gone. So, my backstory is I'm old. <laughs> And kind of gross. And oh my goodness, it's fun having uh, 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 sorry. Um, Neko the Kitty says, Johnny, are you the uncle of the, this gang? A little bit. Right, Baddy Wrongleg says, like Casimir without the competency. Yes. So this is the thing, right? Is Blaze in the Dark is quite a is the, it's a very deep and layered kind of world, and it's also new. You know, it's like okay, well, imagine this city, and now imagine the sun exploded, and now imagine this, and now imagine ghosts, and now imagine all these gangs. There's a lot to dig through. So I felt like. Coffee Cat says, is that screaming from the stream or just my head? It's someone outside. Sorry, didn't mean to alarm you with a screaming child. It's not my child. I don't have any. Um, but with Casimir, I was like, it, there's a lot of moving parts in, in, in um, Blaze in the Dark and in Duskfall. So I was like, I think it would be good if they had somebody with a criminal background to kind of try and... Um, wow, you can really notice the screams once you're aware of them. I, I thought it would be useful to try and guide them through. With Deadlands, it's like, it's, it's the Weird West. It's cowboys and monsters. And that's about it. So I reckon they've got this one. So I'm just... Just a weird old man. It's great. Right, okay. A close encounter with the ghost train had left the shack in a shambles. Half of it, half of it was missing and what remained was barely standing. Searching the ruins would be risky. There's gotta be something worthwhile around here. Let's get five dollars. The things we found, hunting trophies, dull skinning knives, rusty snares, suggested the hut had belonged to a hunter, but they were useless to us. After finding a whole half eagle coin, we gave up and decided to abandon the hut to look for better shelter. Great. Uh-oh, we're gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, and I didn't mute my mic. <coughs> oh, fuck. I, d uh, I don't know what kind of pollen is really up there at the minute, but it's really fucking up there at the minute. I don't normally get hay fever, but ugh. Right, half gold eagle coin. Let's look at the destroyed camp, or is that our camp? Oh, we've stumbled upon remnants of the camping... We've... St I just sneeze again. 
Nope. Okay. Uh, we've stumbled upon remnants of a camping site. The tents were ripped to shreds. The fire reduced to a pile of smoking embers. So that's where the horses came from. I think you're right. Whoever camped here came a little too close to the ghost train's path. They're probably long gone now. Come on, let's keep moving. You can set up camp at any time. While at camp, you can chat with posse members to get to know them better. Nice. All right, we're going this way. Here go our little horses. Abandoned farm. The building offered little shelter, but we've managed to start a small fire. It was better than nothing. Suddenly, we heard a muffled thump coming from a low mound sitting under a cock-eyed cross right behind the broken fence. Well, that sounds like a grave. The sky was dark, but the snow gave the night enough of a glow that we could see we're alone out here. We stood above the restless grave. Thump, thump, thump. Flynn looked at me. Jen? I want you to think very carefully about what you're about to do now. Let's check it out carefully, shall we? We just need to be careful. It's fake, girl. Come on. Would you even be able to sleep tonight if we didn't dig up whatever the hell this is? We just need to be careful. Okay. Q. Cow folks are strong in groups because they know together anything is possible. <laughs> uh. I'd sleep perfectly well. I hate you, Jen Carter. That's fair. That's fair. I'm the lucky Carter. Uh, right. We searched the farm. Once we found a pair of shovels, we started digging. We were at it for half an hour or so. Then we started digging. <laughs> <coughs> We were at it for half an hour or so when the thumping intensified. Then, just as we unearthed the lid of a crude pine coffin, it stopped. Hello. A pale fist punched a hole through the coffin's lid. Splinters flew around us and the stench of a stale tomb billowed into the cold air. We recoiled, drew our guns, and leveled them at the hand. More loud cracks. Good lord. More loud cracks and grunts broke the wintry silence and soon a man rose from the grave. His skin pale and sickly. His clothes covered in dust. <laughs> Snorp and Bass says, An old grave? We can dig it. Well, that reminds me, actually. I do need to send a oh, picture. Uh, not a picture. A, um... Am I here? What did you do? All right. Shoot him. Let Flynn deal with him. Or say we didn't do anything wrong. Bill. Oh, is it Bill? Wait, Bill. Was Bill on the train? Is Bill a friend of ours? No. Who's, who's this Bill? Who is this Bill? Um. Uh, diddly 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 diddly. No, that's right. Right. Uh, we didn't do anything wrong. Whoa there. We didn't do anything wrong. We heard you knocking and we dug your ugly carcass up. The undead thing grunted and trudged towards the house. We decided to follow. Inside, the stranger... Okay, so wasn't on the train. Uh, inside, the stranger inspected every room. Nook and cranny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> inside, the stranger inspected every room, nook and cranny. There we go. He grunted and coughed his way through the place, his methodical movements betraying a peculiar strength and purpose. He towered above us, and yet we still couldn't see his eyes when he finally turned towards us again. Guns! I need guns. Who are you? What just happened? What are you after? Who are you? Back in my breathing days, folks called me Old Man Bill. I've seen everything. Done everything the West has to offer. I've been an outlaw, a thief, a sheriff, a bounty hunter, hell, even an exorcist for a while. This sounds like... You know when people make their first ever role-playing character and some people just cannot like avoid the allure of having somebody who's like an absolute legend? Be like, I've done it all. I avenged my family. I, I've been a thief, a sheriff, a bounty hunter. I was even an exorcist for a while. And I'm a level one ranger. <laughs> like, he fucking kills me every time. 
<laughs> it really gets me every single time. They're like, people know me everywhere. I'm a legend. I've dueled demons on the highest mountain peaks, and I've fought sea monsters at Hadel Depths. And then they get knocked out by a single goblin. It just... Uh, mwah, I love it. I love it. Right. Karina says, Back in my breathing days. Me before the hay fever. Ugh, I know. Right. Hugh says, It is allowed when the backstory is that they failed at all of the jobs, hence the low level. <laughs> Very good. Kira Cox says, Johnny, have you ever started at third level? Yes, once. And now I'm... This... Whatever this is. Smelly grumpy man. That's what you are. Bill. What just happened? One day, I just woke up in that pine box buried in my yard. At first I thought I'd been dreaming. I remembered this vision of a train of death driven by the devil himself uh -oh. and chugging its way straight to hell. When he spotted me, he started to laugh. Laughed so hard he woke me up. All right, Captain Captain Wolfo says, "Why would he? Why was he buried in his hat and duster coat? Because they're his favourite hat and duster coat." When I realised I was trapped, I started hitting on the coffin's lid, trying to break free. It didn't hurt none, and being already dead, I wasn't afraid to die. I suppose so. I just knew I needed to get free. Free! I needed to get free! Karima says, oh, I had a level 1 warlock with like a level 20 backstory. It was very silly. Right, exactly! I mean, it is funny, but... Right. Nice which says, fella, let me tell you. The devil had gone into giggle mode and there was nothing no one could do about it. <laughs> I don't know how long I was down there. An hour, a day, a week. The next thing I remember was the sounds of shoals, mm. of you digging, mm. and then I broke through. Mm. What? What are you after? What are you planning to do now? Get some guns. Mm. Gonna track down the devil who woke me up. Gonna get him good. Then I'm gonna lay me back down. Sounds like a decent plan, in fairness. All right. Listen, we know that devil of yours. And he's one tough son of a bitch. Yeah. Name's Mammon. And he's done us wrong, too. If you're gunning for him, I reckon we should maybe ride together. At least for a few Are days. the horses going to like that? You got yourself a deal. For now. Mr. Jin Carter. This name, this Whatever is Flynn. Say, kids. Call me Bill. Hello, Bill. Look, years ago. I stashed some equipment in an old hunting shack east of here. Let's wait out the blizzard. See if my stuff's still there. Okie dokie. Luckily, we got one more horse for you. Let's go! While exploring the game world, you'll often find side quests that can provide additional loot. <laughs> Hello, mister. Do you want some additional loot? Bill stash. New quest. I can't feel the cold, but looking at you makes me shiver. Oh, that was sassy, Bill. Uh, oh, I need to move myself down a little bit more so we can see additional objectives. A close encounter with the ghost train, yada, yada, yada. We've already looked around here. We only found a half gold eagle coin. Jen, so what are we poking around for here? Guns beneath the floorboards, I think, plus some whiskey stashed in the cellar and dynamite. Yes, tucked up under the roof. Hmm. That's a damn mess. Getting anything out of here, out of there, would. Ugh, blah, blah, blah. That's a damn mess. Getting anything out of there without bringing it down on our heads would be one hell of a feat. Hmm. The girl's right. I'll grab the guns first, and then any preferences? Jin could say, I never say no to whiskey, so we'd get a wild buffalo rifle, a coach gun, and three whiskey, or grab us some of those sticks, Bill which is a wild buffalo rifle, coach gun, and dynamite. Whiskey or dynamite? What do we reckon? Hmm? What do we reckon? 
Emma Blast says Mammon's the devil focused on material gain, yeah? Oh, I think so. <laughs> nice one, Hugh. Good reference. Uh-oh. <coughs> oh, what's wrong with me? Hmm. Seems fairly evenly split. West Coast Weaver says whiskey dynamite. Brian Devine says boom sticks. Hey, hey, hey. Fonzie the Capybara says his name is Gin. He has enough alcohol. There's, you know what, between boom sticks and his name is Gin. Let's go with dynamite. There we go. Dynamite always comes in handy. Grab us some of those sticks, Bill. While we stood safely outside the shack, our new undead pal went rummage. Oh, he's a pal! A new undead pal! He's a skelly pal! Went rummaging through the debris. The place creaked and moaned in protest. It wasn't going to hold up much longer. He's dead. What does it matter? He can just dig his way out. Just as Flynn predicted, the busted down hut collapsed, burying Bill beneath piles of broken timber. See? Fine. We stood there and gaped at the ruins, shocked that we'd just lost the old man so sudden like that. Just as I was opening my mouth to say a few words over his new grave, that tough son of a gun crawled up from the wreck like it was nothing. He handed us the loot with a scowl. Goddamn termites. I'm going to say pretty slick, old man. Bill didn't say a word, just gave me a nod as we mounted up and rode off. Bill's stuff. You found loot for the first time. Open inventory menu by clicking its icon at the top right of the screen. Okay. Inventoire. Oh, this looks like the UI for... Uh, oh my god, this looks so much like the UI for Hunt Showdown. Preposterously show. Show? You can assign the acquired loot to any character. Remember to experiment with different posse loadouts anytime you get something new. Alright. <gasps> there it is, look. It's the Duck Bill... <laughs> duck Foot Handgun. It's a buckshot gun, is it? Right, well, we should probably give Bill his gun. He's also got a dirty, dirty copper. Buffalo, wild buffalo rifle. Takes three AP. Shoot, can counter. Yada, yada, yada. Effective range 1 to 18. Damage 8. I don't hate it. This is a coach gun. Which we'll give to Flynn. And then Jin can have the duck foot. And the dynamite. Well, oh no. Old man Bill came with his own dynamite. So we'll also give some dynamite to Flynn. This is so unbelievably like the UI for, um, for, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Hunt Showdown is unreal. I really love that game. I'd stream it one time, but it's like, it's a hardcore shooter that's really tense. So I'm a bit like, eh. Right. Ooh, skills, shadow swap. Level what? We'll find out about that in a bit, I'm sure. We've got cards. Yes, the card mechanics are back. They look pretty cool, all of these, this lot. Ah, Jin looks pompous. But the other two look cool. Bill stash, quest complete. Uh, uh, oh, I set up camp by mistake. Oh, well. We set up camp and gathered around the fire. We could hear the wind howling around us like a heartbroken banshee. Even our horses huddled closer together. And the horses don't like each other. Talk with Flynn. Flynn sat there alone, staring at the fire. I sat behind her. Be beside her, not behind her. Mm, that would be weird. For some time I was wrestling with myself. There was something deeply wrong with me. I could feel it. Something's wrong with me. Wrong? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel strange. Different. This thing Mammon did to me and Kestrel, it hurt like hell, like someone was pulling the marrow out of my bones. This Mammon, he spoke of souls, didn't he? I think whatever he wanted to do to us, especially what he did to you and Kestrel, well, I think he did just that. Oh, you think he took my soul? You really are something else, Jin. You're so goddamn blind to everything that's not under your control that you can't see shit. Look behind you, asshole. Oh. You're casting no shadow. What? He could have told me in a nicer way than that, Flynn. A good luck or a quick death. Hasn't told me anything. Because the super chat is blank. But there is a super chat. And I appreciate it very much. Thank you, good luck or a quick death. I hope you're well. Um, <laughs> Adam Ellis says, uh, I'm getting Andy Allen and Johnny vibes from Jin, Flynn and Bill. Oh, all right, I'll take that. Guess I'm Flynn, huh? Um, do 
She stoked the fire and the flames grew brighter for a moment. I turned to look behind me and it took a moment before it hit me. She was right. There was nothing where my shadow should have been. As far as the fire was concerned, it was like I wasn't even there. It's not just you. Mm. I feel strange too. I still have a shadow, but it's looking damn ragged. Whatever Mammon did to us in the ghost train, he hurt all of us. But you, you and and Kestrel, you got the worst of it. When it comes to shadows, you lost it all. Interesting. Chupop 345 says, Fire don't care about your physical being, Jen. I was rendered speechless. Ask about her past. <laughs> Flynn is accomplice, chapter one. All right. Okie dokie. Well, let's watch this, and then we might take a five-minute break because, frankly, I need to blow my nose. What else you want to know, Jin? I already told you I was raised in an orphanage. I escaped that. I grew up on the streets of Mornwood till I joined up with the circus that came through town. That's where you and Castrol found me, and that's it. All right, good chat, buddy. I never knew my oh. parents. The sisters at the orphanage told me that a lone man in tattered clothes and a haunted face left me on their doorstep. They say that was my father, and I have a feeling that wherever these powers of mine come from, mm -hmm. they came to me through him. Well, so I'll find him one day, you know, when we're all done with this. I'll find him. Snorpen Bass says, Mornwood, right next to Grief Hill and Sad Gulch. I love Sad Gulch. It's beautiful at this time of year. Thanks for talking, Flynn. Back. Oh, wait. Thanks for talking, Flynn. Talk with Bill. No, wait. We're going to take a five-minute break. We'll take a five-minute break, then we'll talk to Bill. We were both curious about our new, freshly resurrected friend. We'll cram it, Jen. Because we're going on a five minute break. Uh, so I'm going to blow my nose and I'm probably going to get a drink of water. You know, just just Johnny stuff. Just just kicking it. Um, how about you? When was the last time you got up and had a stretch and had a little walk around? Would that be good for you? Maybe you should do it. Have you drunk enough water today? Uh, you know, are you too hot? You're too cold? Do you need a snack? Do you need, you know, a jumper or a fan or something? Um, just, just do, do, do whatever you want for the next five minutes. If you're not going anywhere, please enjoy some smooth jazz and a picture of my dog. Be right back.
Hello, we're back. Um, welcome back to this stream of Hard West 2. Uh, I got some water. Mmm. Delicious. And we were going to be uh, chatting to Bill at the um, at the campsite, because we're curious about our new freshly resurrected friend, Continue. Are you out of your goddamn mind? We don't even know what is he. Um, well, Flynn doesn't want me to talk to Bill. That's weird. We're in the middle of nowhere, and we might be facing off against the devil himself soon, and we already lost good men, so yes, I feel like joining forces with a gritty veteran who can't die is a mighty fine notion. With talents like yours, it ain't like you got a right to complain about others hauling around that kind of strangeness. Flynn cursed, but she let me go. Uh, right. How did you die? After I retired, I lived on this here farm with my wife and my son. Uh -huh. For the longest period of my life, I found peace. But it didn't last. One day, an old enemy of mine showed up at my door, determined to cross me off his list of debts to be paid. I killed seven of his men before the last three wrestled me down and held me tight. Ooh. Then he drew his gun and put me down like a dog. Hmm. Matt K. Freigeist is in chat. Hello, Matt. How are you doing? Johnny, I managed to catch her. Hope you and all your lovelies are fine. We're doing all right, thank you. Jesus, it must have been years, says Flynn. One day, I just woke up in that pine box buried in my yard. At first I thought I'd been dreaming. I remembered this vision of a train of death driven by the devil himself and chugging its way straight to hell. When he spotted me, he started to laugh. Laughed so hard he woke yep. me up. Yep. I don't know how long I was down yep. there. Yep. An hour. A day, we had this already. A the next thing I and then it broke through. Flynn has questions, says Jen. You, Go on, Flynn. I bet he doesn't mind. So, are you really dead? I'm afraid so, miss. I got no pulse. I don't need to breathe. My insides have rotted away. Well. I'm little more than dust and bone. And yet, I feel this strange power in me. I don't feel the pains from growing old anymore. I don't feel much at all. Everything seems gray, and the world tastes like ashes. Yet here I ashes. am. Ashes. I linger on. Ask about his past. Billy's Accomplice, Chapter 1. I ain't proud of my past, Carter. I roamed around the whole hard west like my boots. But that's the name of the game! Never settled down. At least not till that far again. It's a hell of a tale. But I need to think some about how I want to tell it. Alright. In my outlaw days, I ran with this gang. Called the Cardinals. Mm. Oh, bloodiest damn gang in the hard west. I was young and stupid and just fucking despicable. And I loved every minute of it. <laughs> to hold a gun on someone and know you have their life on the tip of your fingers? It's exhilarating. Goodness me! Well, Bill, that'll be all, thank you. Uh,. Corvus Albright has done a super chat saying period piece game haiku for period piece game haiku time. Everything western. Nothing at all to the east. And it's also hard. <laughs> that was a really good one. Let's break camp. Shall we? Alright, let's go find us that nearest town. Clip clop, motherfuckers. What's this? Red Cross. Oh, the Red Cross is here! Great! Hello! We've been injured. Ah, fuck. Wrong Red Cross. Suddenly we've stumbled upon a scene so gruesome, so irrational, that even I cursed silently. Looking down, we could see a patch of blood-soaked snow surrounding a flimsy cross. Someone nailed a naked man to it, then left him to die in the cold. I got off my horse and took a step closer. Flynn didn't follow. Flynn said, be careful. Do we examine the scene or look for anything useful? Let's 
examined the scene. This man had been dead for days, left out in this weather. Animals had gotten to him, leaving behind only a scrawny, skeletal shape with a mess of dried guts spilled between his legs. Gross. Look for anything useful. Ignoring the stench, I've kicked the snow and guts around the corpse in search of anything useful. I noticed something stuck inside the corpse's chest cavity. Could it be? Playing cards? Suddenly the corpse jerked up, twisting, twisted its neck and snapped with its teeth at my face. Sure. Sure. Less said the Revenant. A friend of yours, Bill? <laughs> I pulled back immediately. A friend of yours, Bill? <laughs> said the Revenant. <laughs> the undead... <laughs> the undead thing kept, tra kept trashing about, hoping to attack us, but the nails and the ropes held tight. He's nothing like me, no memories, no free will, only hunger. Probably revive when the ghost train passed nearby, damned full said our own revenant, then took a gun and kept shooting until the undead's head was gone. Only then it stopped moving. Without the head, the undead was now less lively. <laughs> <sighs> Without the head, the undead was now less lively. Now it was a simple matter of courage. Jin, I'll get the cards. Jin will get two damage. We'll get the nine of spades, king of diamonds and queen of clubs. Oh, wait, those are the cards anyway. If I want those cards badly enough, I'll get them. Jin's gonna get them. As I reached between the ribs, the headless corpse jerked and I felt its sharp, broken bones jab my hand. At least I managed to get hold of the cards. So we got the Nine of Spades, the King of Diamonds, the Queen of Clubs. God damn it. Screw you, bonehead. Well, no, he's not a bonehead anymore. He's got no bones left in his head. He's got no head left. That's why he's less lively. New cards. Yes. You are not new cards. Open the cards menu by clicking its icon at the top right of the screen. This is a really fun um, mechanic in um, Hard West. But basically, these cards are going to give us different abilities, and you can put them together to make different poker hands to enhance those abilities. Um, it's not massively dissimilar to some of the stuff in Deadlands, actually, because in Deadlands, if you say you have a if you have a duel, um, what you do is you um, you get like a card. Uh, and it's about getting the right card and then getting like the highest action action card and like determining who goes first in a duel. Um, and like I said already, like a huckster, like Jane's character, they have to deal with the devil by making a poker hand, the best poker hand they can. And their rank determines how many points they get. There's also uh, a spin-off game from Deadlands called Doomtown. Uh, Doomtown is set in the same universe as uh, Deadlands. Uh, it's a collectible card game. Uh, it's I fucking love it. This is probably my favourite tabletop game of all time. But you get lots of different like um, you get lots of different characters. Let me show you some characters. Uh, like this is Mario Crane, or we used to call it Mario Crane. Uh, Carlo Dirt. So who's who's a good one? I'll show you some of the hexes because they're cool. Uh, anyway, like. This is a man named Ivor Hawley. He's very bad. That's very not in focus. There's Ivor Hawley. He's a bad guy. Anyway, you play this game by like moving your dudes around, around, uh, around town because there are buildings in this, in this game that you play in order to like build up the town. Um, but when you get into a gunfight, you draw a bunch of cards and each of you tries to make the best poker hand you can and you reveal at the same time. Um, so like. I actually, when the first game came out, before it came out, I spoke to the developers on this, and I was like, so you play Deadlands, right? And they were like, well, yeah, of course we do. Yada, yada, yada. Um, so th there is, like, this card element in Hard West. It was kind of not as fully implemented in the first game as I would have liked. It felt like I finished the game by the time I got all the interesting cards. Uh, but it is still very cool. Um, these are some hexes, like some evil spells you can do. There's one called... Shadow Walk, so you can just walk through walls. There's one called Corporeal Twist. I bloody love Deadlands. I bloody love Doomtown. And Hard West has got a fair amount of both in it. So, let's go back to this and have a look at those cards, shall we? Okay. Cards. By adding cards to a character's hand, you can improve their statistics. For example, select Jin and put the King of Diamonds in his hand to increase his luck. All right. Jin, King of Diamonds, Max Luck plus 13, goes in his hand. Great, 
So now his full his luck is 130. Queen of Clubs is speed plus four. The nine of spades is bullseye chance plus three. Now. Old man Bill is quite slow. So let's give him the Queen of Clubs. He's the slowest one we have, rather. So that means that he's actually now as fast as Jen Carter. And Flynn is quicker than that. Uh, the bullseye chance. Let's give the nine of spades to Flynn. So she's got a 3% bullseye chance. Uh, chance of doubling the damage dealt by this character. There we go. All right. That's, that's that. Um... Oh, take it easy, Corvus Albright. Corvus says, Capitalism calls. Have a lovely stream, everyone. Johnny, you're a delight. Thank you for making and maintaining this channel for us to enjoy. That's very sweet of you. Thank you, Corvus. I hope I hope capitalism goes okay for you. Um, and it's not really going okay for anyone. It's a horrible system. But you know what I mean. Right. Uh, Okie dokie. Let's go back. Those are the cards allocated. Now let's find that nearest town. I can't believe the Red Cross was so mean. Stashwan. Oh, look at this fellow. As we came closer to the sta oh, Andy plays a, a ticket office man in the train station, and it's a great character, and I think you're going to like it. It's just a very good show. Right, uh, as we came closer to the station, we saw a single train standing outside on a sidetrack, uh, and a sad, round man with his hands in his pocket standing on the wooden platform. Conductor, you're new, huh? Got in right before the avalanche? What avalanche? EA122 says, so tomorrow, Deadlands debuts? It does. When this stream ends, I put in a redirect link, um, which will take you to that page so you can set a reminder. What avalanche? The Eastern Pass is blocked. No trains, no roads, nothing. We're trapped here in this damn valley. <laughs> what's happening in town? Know anything about what's happening in town? Damn rich is playing sheriff again. I heard them... I heard they found them a wanted man. A native. They're going to hang him today. A native? Could it be deer? Big guy wearing an army jacket? Don't know. Never wanted to have anything to do with this. We're off. Adios. Well, it sounds like... Ah, oh, shit. We're off to Boomtown. Never been to that festival. But I've heard it's okay. Oh, I missed the super chat. Thank you, Colin, last time. Oh, I did. Um, Cheerful Spider said a super chat saying, Heard about the cowboy whose pony had alopecia? He rode it. Th he rode through the desert on a horse with no mane. Mmm, I love it. Uh, and also, before the break, just another Joe did a super sticker of a pear. The pear has a little hand mirror. And keeps looking at the hand mirror and going like "ee" as if it likes what it sees. And there's some text that says, "Thanks for being you." Thank you very much. It's very kind. Right. Okie dokie. Uh, do I go to the general store and the surgeon's office first? I got twelve dollars. Shield your eyes. So the snow don't blind you. Okay. Right through Boomtown. General stores like this one are the perfect places to pick up tools, weapons, camping equipment, and anything else one might need in their travels. Enter the store. As we entered the store, another customer stormed out, red-faced and cursing under his breath. Inside the store, as we came face to face with the owner, it became abundantly clear why one might leave the establishment enraged. Matt K. Fry Guy says, Johnny, or should I say Nathaniel Janssen, be honest, will the flap be open? So here's the thing, Matt. I actually tried to buy a union suit online. I did buy a union suit online, and it was delivered to my flat. And then, because this happens every now and then in the, in the building, somebody will sneak into the building and steal post. Somebody stole it. So I'm at, like, I'm, unfortunately, I didn't get a replacement. Uh, I'm wearing just a shirt rather than a full-on union suit. Although it looks it looks the part. Um, uh, yeah, I don't have my I don't have a union suit. The best thing is that somebody stole it and they were like, "Yes, I've got some post. Maybe I can sell this on, or maybe it'll be useful." <laughs> it was a full-size set of underwear with a butt flap for pooping. Worth it, in my opinion. Worth it. Anyway, more scumbags with empty pockets. What do you want here? Says the trader. Let's trade. All right. <gasps> beans. <laughs> Got kidney beans. Let's get some kidney beans. I oh, some beans. I'll buy one can of your beans. Whiskey's expensive. Bloody hell. Can't afford any guns. Could afford a pickaxe. Let's buy a pickaxe. Alright. 
Thanks, dude. For the pickaxe and the beans. Alright. Your prices are outrageous! Oh, apparently those prices were outrageous. I, I like my prices like I like my mountains. Nice and steep! If you find them too high, feel free to take your business somewhere else. I will. Alright, bye. Uh, so we go to the surgeon's oh, office. Hell is a whole lot warmer. The surgeon's office stood at the very outskirts of town. It smelled of alcohol and gangrene. Ooh. Snorpin Bass has delivered the whole beans, beans, and musical fruit thing. Uh, and I've never actually heard the end of that. It's beans, beans, and musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. So eat your beans with every meal. Wow. Well, when I was a kid, it was beans, beans, good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. The more, the fart, the more you eat, the more you sit on the toilet seat. I prefer that one, to be honest with you. Hugh says, it's just beans, Michael. How much can they cost? Ten dollars? Nice which says, oh, that's what we had too. Okay, I'm glad it's not just me. I quite like beans, beans, musical fruit. The more you, you more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. So eat your beans with every meal, though. That's great. Yeah, anyway, uh, let's knock. Let's knock. Oh, wait. We couldn't enter, though. The door sat closed shut. A night, the note tacked to it read, closed indefinitely. We heard some ruckus back in town. I figured we should see what that's all about. We'll be back. All right. Let's go see what's happening in town. Boom town. This town is tiny. Did you see how big our horses are? Oh, fuck. It's a small town, probably set up in the last decade or so. Rail tracks end at a station nearby the town. A hanging scaffolding has been built at the town square. The hangs, the, the hangs folk, the town's folk, are hardened by years of living at the very frontier of Hard West. But that's the name of the game. Right. We look down at Boomtown from a top. Dear. Shit. They beat him good. Uh We look down at Boomtown from atop a, a hill. It was a modest place where the paint is still fresh. The rail tracks cut toward it through the snow. We heard a hubbub as we drew closer. The townsfolk have gathered in the small square to watch a lone bloodied man standing at the gallows. It was laughing deer. Right, we can say we'll break him out just not yet, or we can say we're breaking him out. We're breaking him out. We've already got beans and a pickaxe. What more do we need? All right. Fooling the hangman. Rumors. Richie's men are hardened thugs, but if we keep pushing forward, they won't have time to do anything. I recommend to kill those with rifles first, as they shoot accurately. Also, dynamite sticks will be useful here in case they club together. Main objectives. Kill Sheriff Richie and all his henchmen. Side objectives. Get Laughing Deer's equipment. Uh, and kill all the enemies on the square in the first round. Fucking hell. All right. Guess we're doing this, huh? Good luck, everyone. Let's lay waste to a whole town. Bravado. Oh, yeah. Bravado. Oh, this bravado is such a bloody good... Um... Mechanic. There we go. All right. Click to continue. Yeah. Hugh says... That's enough. We'll be taking that gentleman with us now. Thank you. Look at what crawled out from under the snow, guys. Another lost soul in Boomtown. Pleasure's all mine, Sheriff. See, this friend of yours is wanted in at least four states for murdering some big, fat, and famous chief. Did you know about this? I don't care. He's mine. Give him back, now. You heard that, jackass boys? Did that sound like a threat to you? You sure did sound like a threat to me. I misheard that. He was asking, did you hear that, jackass boys? I. It really sounded like he was saying, did you hear that, jackass boys? Hmm? Mm, perfect. Uh, great. <sighs> All right. Do we have time for this? I'm asking you one last time. Say pretty, please. Well, they're gonna Flame. die. On it, boss. <laughs> Whoa! I just swapped positions with a man. Witchcraft! Shoot Witchcraft! Em. Kill them all! 
Jed says, that's the name of the gang for sure, the Jackass Boys. Shadow Barrage. Each posse member has a unique skill. Jin can shoot bullets that pass through cover on walls. God damn. We call this skill the Shadow Barrage. Wow, Jin, you kept that quiet. Click the Shadow Barrage skill from the bottom panel and choose a target. Better watch and learn, kids. Alright. I guess we're gonna shoot this guy and everyone next to him. Oh, well, if it isn't, if it isn't some bravado. Uh, shadow Swap. Flynn's Shadow Swap allows us to change places with foes and allies. This unstable witchcraft does a small amount of damage to her and the target. All right. Yeah. Choose Shadow, shadow Swap. And click Let's the chosen target. Bit, Let's swap out with the Riffleman. Or this Riffleman. This Riffleman. Hey. Watch this. Oh yes, it did us one damage. It's just the beginning. More skills will unlock as you progress through Hard West 2. Right now though, you know everything you need to massacre those bastards in town. Good luck. Alright. Okie dokie. Now then. Flynn. No valid target. Oh, she could kill that rifleman though with a pistol. Let's see that. Got him. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Bravador. And she can kill that one. Sure enough. Let's do it. And she'll kill this one. Fucking hell, Flynn. Oh my God. Assignable Jack says. How is a turn-based cowboy different from a regular cowboy? That is, in fairness, a good question. <laughs> I'm not sure. But uh, what I am sure is that Flynn's going to shoot this man. I got this yes, one. you have. Oh, All right. That's the luck of the Irish for you. Oh, she's Irish, apparently. Okay. All right. Yeah, sure. I get it. Oh, damn. I should have sent this to get the gear. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs> Take your time. Uh, let's see. So, I can go on a rampage and kill that one and that one. Mm. Okay, so I'll definitely hit that. Oh, wait, he's over there. Oh, he's up. Hang on. You up? <laughs> Alright, so I'm definitely going to kill this one. Right. Bang! Oh, that's... Wow. Oh. Fucking thingy seemed to like that. Jesus Christ, Bill. He's killing absolutely everyone. Alright, then who else we got? We got Jin. I think what we'll do is shoot this man with the buffalo gun to really bring his health down. And then that's Bill's go. And then what we can do with Jin is kill that man. Let's dance. Get the bravado. Shoot Sheriff Richie. Eyes on the prize. Move into cover just in case. I reckon Will we've do. got this. Uh, you don't know about my reputation. Then my, I don't Let give a damn about my man reputation. <laughs> and then let's uh. Do 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 do
There are more men. Not Mormon, but there are there are additional fellows. Oof. Use shin film Use Flynn's skill, Shadow Swap, on a rifleman. Well, I don't see why I ought to, but alright. Now then, old man Bill. If we can move you up there, that will take... Two of your Earth AP. So 50 50 to hit that guy. Alright, let's let's we'll we'll use we'll check in on old man Bill. Oh, old man Bill's the last one to go. Hmm. How much AP does it cost to throw dynamite? One! <laughs> well then. Oh no, everyone, it is a fresh go for Don't everyone. touch me. Don't touch me. Alright, fuck it. Uh laughing deer. I wouldn't hate it if he also had a gun, you know. And he, he can't reach anyone. So we'll move him up. Power. We'll move him all the way up. And stick him in cover. Gin Carter. Baked bean farter. Ready to roll. I could, like, shadow swap. Yeah, let's do it. Let's shadow swap. Because then what I can do... I'll fuck you up, assholes. ...is just murder this guy. Then she's got bravado. Kill that guy as well. This is much more streamlined than the first one. I like it. 100% chance to hit that guy, so let's take it, why not? Want to see me get real angry? I don't think they do want to see you get real angry, Flynn. I don't think anyone wants to see that. You're scary. Right, let's move her up. And we'll stop messing around with her for now. Let's get old man Bill right up there. Because he's way in the back. Hmm. <laughs> Seems <laughs> like I can't get any more dead. Let's see about you. Oh, that was a pithy line from old man Bill, wasn't it? That was a bit of fun. Hmm. All right. All right. All right. Mar, 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 mar. Go, Jim Carter. Big Bean Carter. All right. Let's have some fun. We're 50-50 to hit one of these chumps. We may as well try. Oh! -hoo 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 -hoo! You're in for a ride. Yes. And then, what if we sort of just? Love the dynamite in. Fun. Why not, eh? Will it take out the wall? Near enough. Do we try it again? With a... Yeah! Why not? Why not? 50-50. Let's take it. Got it. Wow. But she gets some luck, and that's useful. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Stick him, boys. Stick him, boys. Bastards. Good shot, gunman. Oh! Die, pig! Watch your head. Oh, good shot, in fairness. <gasps> the Sheriff Deputy is here! Couple of riflemen. Gunman. Gunman? There's a lot of people. Alright. Alright. Now, let's see about. Ready, like always! Moving up Jin Carter. We 
What I like is it shows you, if you look at the gunman up here, shows you, if you move there, you've got this percentage chance of hitting them. La 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 la. It's useful. Now there's a guy over there, actually. Ooh. If we move up to here, we've got a 75% chance of drilling that son of a bitch. I say that only in a wildy westy way, obviously. Easy money. Well, that wasn't easy money there, was it? Flynn. Flynn, it's your turn. Now then. I say we take it. Let's shoot him. Yes, got bullseye damage. Tremendous. All right. Old Man Bill. Well, let's see. If we move Old Man Bill up to here, we're going to gain a couple of squares of movement, and he's 100% to hit that guy. Oh, wait. If he's 100% to hit that guy, then he should hit that guy. Then we get some bravado. Then that means we can move up. Here. Eh? Eh? I'm sorry, but the the fucking shouldn't have pissed me shouldn't off. Shouldn't have pissed me off. No can do. Oh no, I used too much movement. Oh well. I have a good dynamite the guy. It's not really it. Ooh, ooh. Is there anywhere I can? Yes! Dynamite through the window, that guy's dead. Got my bravado back, shoot this guy. I love the bravado mechanic, it is just tremendous. And then if we move round, if we moved round to here, we only have a 50% chance of hitting that. Oh, I guess he's in cover. Oh, but we're 100%. Okay, well, we'll move here. Right, and then we're going to shoot this guy. There we go. Hello, sir. I'm going to shoot you now. There you are. You have died. Who's next? Karima says, what's Bravado doing? Giving AP back. Yes, it gives you back all of your action points. So you just get to, to take another go. It is quite wild, if I'm perfectly honest. Oh, that's a ricochet thing. Oh, that would be a 100% chance to hit that guy. Well, let's do it. Let's shoot that guy. Death approaches. Death does approaches. <laughs> All right, let's get old uh, old man Bill to hunker down. That yeah. was very good fun. Nope, no way. Nuh -uh. She can't hit anyone. Should we move Flynn up? Let's move Flynn up into full cover. Naka says, old man Bill carrying this posse. I agree, but partly that's just because, like, Laughing Deer is melee only. And he is a country mile away from anybody. So let's move him up as much as we can. Let's put him there. Yeah, my goodman, baby, baby. Have to do better than that. Now. Well, this is set up nicely for a bit more dynamite, isn't it? Oh yes, especially if that gunman stops there. Num num num. Need someone dead. I do need someone dead, but first, but first, flip. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no, I've used all the dynamite. Dang it. All right. Well. What's the play? 50%. What if I ricocheted it? And killed this man. Let's do that. <laughs> that animation was pretty cool as well. Alright. 50% for that one. No, 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 no. Uh, how do I change person? 
There we go. There we go. All right. Here we go. Let's see what old man Bill Let's can get do. This over with. 50%, 50%, 25% chances. 50 percenters. Okay. We're going to have to move Old Man Bill. That's okay. If we move Old Man Bill to there, actually it gets worse. If we move Old Man Bill to here, it's not much better. Alright, laughing deer. Laughing deer. What if you went over there? What if you went in here? <laughs> Hmm. It's not not a little bit of a puzzle. Ready when you are. Jen, where are you? Jen, you're all the way back there, buddy. Come in. Oh wow. But Jin is a phenomenal shot, it turns out. So I guess we'll just be plugging that dude from all the way back there. Alright, cool. Looking for trouble. Looking for trouble. And then if we ricochet that, then that's definitely going to hit, which will definitely do enough damage to kill that guy. That man has died. Oops. Oh, shit! That was a good shot. I could shadow walk this rifle man out. And have. Mm, let's leave Flynn for now. Oh, whoops! Oh, okay. Or I can swap her. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I got six bullets with your name. I didn't mean on. to do that, but we've done it now. So. Is that going to take all my AP to do that? I think so, and it won't even kill the guy. Uh. All right. Take your time. Take your time. Oh, wait. Was that a 100% shot? Oh, no. That's me moving. Can I ricochet bullets? I can. Oh, fuck. Oh, Should have clicked on the thing. Didn't click on the thing, did I? Shit. Shit. Shit and damn. Oh, that's why. It's two to move and then one to womp. I could go all the way up there and womp the rifleman. I kind of don't want to put Laughing Deer right in next to the Sheriff's Deputy. Because I'm not going to kill him. I'm only going to do three damage. Four damage, not five. Oh well. That's alright. Uh, I reckon. Let's move him. Can he get in through the windows? Let's put him up here. Okay. We'll hunker him down as well. Heads down. Alright, Jin Carter. Let's move you up if we can. We can't move you far, but do. it's full cover, so that's pretty good. Yeah. Old man Bill. Heads down. Guess what? Guess what? Oh, you little sneaky flanky little sod on yeah oh okay that was all of your movement <laughs> okay I'm gonna need a new coat. oh okay my favorite one's full of holes well that's yeah that's fine then let's go hit this man for two AP right Set me loose. and then I suppose we'll just do it again gonna, gonna... and then he's got the bravado how much AP would it be to... Oh, that guy's all the way over there. They can't get over there. Alright. Uh, well, in that case, let's tuck Laughing Deer into cover. Here. I will. Alright. Baddy Wrongleg says, Deer feels weirdly underpowered compared with the others. Am I missing his niche? His niche is that uh, his... Oh, shit, he got bravado, didn't he? Oh, well. Let's just hunker him down. His... Um... His melee attack only costs one AP, so you can attack more. Obviously, it doesn't do as much damage, but I think the idea with him is you you get a lot of people's health down, and then you just send him round, just like chunking people over and over again. Um, Jin Carter is going to shoot the deputy. Pop. Bit of bravado. There we go. Done. Is there anyone else after 
the head of my pal? I'd, I'd wager not. They're all dead, look. Fucking hell. That's what I thought. Ooh, that was a lot of people. Ooh. Victory! Pulling the hangman. Five kills, twenty... Uh, five turns, twenty kills. Bravado streak of four. Well done, Bill. We got all the stuff. Coyote Tooth Necklace. This increases um, Bullseye chance by 15. Hmm. Been passed down in Laughing Deer's family from father to son for generations. So we're probably going to keep it on Laughing Deer rather than giving it to Flynn. Um, each bearer of the necklace added a fang from a coyote he killed. To prove his worth in these hard times, Deer had to use his bare hands to defeat a demonic predator attacking his village. Since then, the ancestral spirits living in the necklace have supported him in close combat. The bullseye chance bonus this lens only works with melee weapons. Interesting. All right. Bit of fun. Breaking stuff. Ricocheting your bullet once is smart. Ricocheting it multiple times is the real treat. But where some ricochet objects will break after being shot, so plan your attack accordingly. All right. Laughing deer wiped the blood off his face and spat like he ate something foul. He took his things from Flynn with a scowl. Man didn't know how to lose. Didn't know how to say thank you either. Good to see you back. We thought you were dead. Flynn flung herself over deer's neck, but he shoved her away angrily. You both left me there. Ooh. And Kestro. And now you're happy to see me? Sometimes you will have to decide which posse member should act in certain events. When you choose an option suggested by a certain posse member, that character earns loyalty points. Jen says, you're right, I'm sorry for that, or she did what she could. So that would increase... So, you're right, I'm sorry for that, is loyalty plus one from, from Laughing Deer. And she did what she could is plus one loyalty from Flynn. She did what she could, like, she did do what she could. She did what she could. Thanks for standing up for me back there. You think she wouldn't go back for you next if she could? She did her best and now she saved her ass here. You best remember that. Flynn loyalty plus one. Mm. All right. Cyber Steampunk has done a super chat saying my favorite streamer is coming to America and I can't buy them and their partner a drink. So here is some money that buy uh, that buy the drinks in my place. Thank you very much, Cyber Steampunk. Um, yeah, there is like I'm looking forward to, to visiting a couple of like breweries and dive bars and stuff while we're out there. So I will, uh, we will raise a toast to you, Cyber Steampunk. Thank you very much. Right. Mark Lewis says I'm trying to replace dude as my catch-all pronoun for all people, animals, and even situations in an attempt to not accidentally trigger people any suggestions. Um, folk, like or pals, are the ones I I've gone for. Like just saying like blah blah these folks yada yada yada. And like, these are my pals. Um, like, and when it's animals, like, look at these friends. You know, like, you really can use anything. Like, it doesn't have to be a, a wildly obscure term or, like, wildly inventive in order to be inclusive, you know? Like, um... Aiden says, y'all is useful. There you go. I can't get away with uh, y'all, but, um... This doesn't sound right coming from me, but, you know, just people, friends, folks, comrades, as Grumson says, fuckers, that's a good one. It's okay, Jin, we're all angry, right, dear? Jin, what were the charges? Sorry. Two. Right. What were the charges? Whatever you did must have been pretty bad if you wanted even in Oregon. How many places put a price on your noggin? All of them. <laughs> Mark, Matt K. Fry Guy says I use everybody and I always sing it the Backstreet Boy way. Blimey. Um, Pietro P suggests cheese bags. Good. Uh, how did you survive? So how did you survive? I jumped out the window at the same moment when you and Flynn vanished. Landed in a pile of snow. After I dug myself out, a rider in the distance saw me staggering around. Instead of helping me, he took off. 
came back later with a whole mob of men. That sounds shitty. Let's lay low for now. All right, folks, let's lay low for now. Deer, take Richie's horse and let's find a place to rest. Give the folks some time to crawl back out. I saw a doctor's office nearby. We could get patched up proper tomorrow. We'll also visit that train station. We need to get the hell out of this freezing shithole. <laughs> Dang, all right. We laid low at some shack at the town outskirts, waiting for the day to pass. The townsfolk avoided us, unsure if we're allies or enemies, but looking at the way they cleaned their streets of the corpses, they didn't like that Richie guy much. At dawn, we took off to find the medic. A posse member who falls in combat recovers 1 HP after the fight is over. Other characters keep the number of HP with which they finish the shootout. All wounds can be healed by visiting a surgeon. Well, two of them took damage from me misclicking and swapping two characters over to save Flynn walking approximately five feet. So, let's get them patched, shall we? Alright, check the train station and find a way out the valley. Alright. Ah, oh, the surgeon's office is open now. Fucking hell. Twenty dollars? Um, the surgeon's office is blah, blah, blah. We found the door open and the young surgeon seemed eager to work. Chirpy even, but the blood in his collar may be uneasy. He scowled at our cuts and bruises. I'll patch you all up, but it will cost you this ain't charity. Well, how hurt is everyone? Uh, not this time. Let's check on everyone. Inventoire. Uh, Carter's on 16, Flynn's on 13, Bill's on 17, and Laughing Dude. Everyone's kind of fine. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I don't think. I don't think. I think we can spend twenty dollars else. Else how? Right. Let us give the necklace back to Laughing Deer. That's important. Uh, we're going to give Flynn some dynamite because she made good work with that before. Uh, old man Bill deserves some old man beans. Oh, everyone can have beans. How many beans did we buy? Shit. We can give a gun. Look, Laughing Dick. Will he take a gun? Yes, he will. Great. He's got a Widowmaker. Great. What is this again? It's just a quest item. Okay. Uh, beans for you. Bill's got beans. Old Man Beans. Jin's got beans. Flynn's got beans. Everyone's got beans. <laughs> nice switch says, I was eating those beans. Excellent. How fast is uh, La Laughing Deer is? Fleet of foot. Uh, which is what you'd hope, given he can just run in and womp people. Okie dokie. Should we make camp? We should check the train station, really. Let's check the train station. Find a way out of that valley. Sweet valley, sweet valley high. As we came closer to the station, we saw a single train standing on a sidetrack and a sad round man. We've already read that bit. Hello there, still here, I see. Is there any way out of here? You probably already heard we dealt with Richie and his men. Now, is there any way out of here? Sadly, no. The eastern pass is blocked solid. Unless this strange winter passes, or someone from Pine Falls clears the way, we're all stuck in this valley. Because <laughs> I'm sure as shit not doing it for those those knuckleheads from Pine Falls. They can kiss my ass. There you go. There's always a way, says Bill. Well, if you're determined enough, you could try and find a passage yourselves. Or ask Old Man Mervin. He lives in a hut north of the town. He knows these mountains better than anyone. We're off. Adios. All right, let's go find Old Man Mervin. Or just Old Mervin, it turns out. Clip, clop, mother fuckers. Ooh, some question marks. Let's explore them. Cursed tree. Ooh, Don't mind if I, I do. Let's do oh, Red Cross again. We found another one of those crosses. This time the victim seemed to be an old man. He was frozen stiff and the ravens were fighting for his eyes. Behind the cross we saw a bundle of clothes and a simple backpack. Another one? What the hell is going on here? Be careful, Jin. Maybe this one bites too. Let's check his belongings. We got five dollars. Let's examine the body. You're an expert. What do you think about this? Old man Bill or laughing deer? Old man Bill. That was the right move. This is the work of a killer, a real nut job or a cultist. I took some of them down back in my day. We might stumble across more of these crosses, we better beware. Let's just go, this ain't our business. Alright. We got half an eagle coin though, that's good. Let's go to the cursed tree, shall we?
The view was both dreadful and fascinating. Ghastly white bark and twisted branches festooned with dozen, dozens of bone fetishes. My spine tingled every time I glanced at this grotesque caricature of a tree. Let's approach it! As we approached the tree, we noticed two distressed lumberjacks standing underneath. Lumberjack says, Whoever you are, folks, you better try to stay away from this place. This tree is cursed. Cursed, I tell you! Tell us what happened. Calm down and tell us what happened. Maybe we can help you. My son, he... He was a young man, a mere spring chicken, when we got here, and now, just look at him, goddammit! The lumberjack took us to a man he claimed was his son, an old coot staring <laughs> staring silently at his arthritis-deformed hands. This morning, they found the tree and noticed a shiny amulet hanging on one of the top branches. Unable to climb that high, they decided to cut the whole thing down. The son got to work, but quickly lost all of his vigour. Turned out that every strike of the axe put a year on him. He'd cut himself down, too. You greedy bastards! That's what you get for messing with the Shadow Dance witchcraft. That tree is a harbinger of doom. Uh, uh, remind me who Shadow Dance are, dear. Those people are my people. Makar, the leader of the of the movement, called our people to go into the shadows and wage war against the foreign invaders until they were destroyed or driven away. The ones who answered Makar's call. Make up the Shadow Dance. They say they're the last hope in that desperate fight. Okay. Could you unhex that curse, Flynn? What do you think about that curse? No fucking way. That's some crazy evil shit way over my head. Try to reach the amulet. I don't want to try and reach the amulet. Can I go back? Some dialogue options can be locked until the posse member reaches a specific loyalty level, but they also offer higher rewards. Ah. Ah. So I don't have enough loyalty points to ask people to get the, the thing down. Fine by me. I want to leave that fucking thing. Talisman of the Witch. I mean, it's good, but it's not... Yeah, let's leave it. I'm not so sure. I, I'm not so sure we should be fiddling with this tree. Let's leave it for now. All right. Let's go. Now, can we ford the river? I think I spotted something. Yes, we can. That direction. What direction? Cover your eyes. All this snow can blind you. Okay. Let's keep on going. I want some lost supplies, please. Oh, I'm sorry, Nice Witch. Nice Witch says, oh yeah, just leave the witch's talisman. I'm sorry. We can go back and get it later? Maybe. Buried in the snow, we found some supplies. Some farmer must have lost them when the strange winter came. At least that's what Bill said. We should mark the spot and let the townsfolk claim it. They need it more than we do. Or we could say, hey, find us keepers and get two whiskey and some kidney beans, or we'll do what you say. Let's do what we say. I think loyalty points are more important than beans and whiskey. And that's coming from me. I love both of those things. You know good advice when you hear it. Goddamn saint, we'll do what you say. Old man Bill is now companion. Hmm. Good call, Carter. Sometimes it's all about the little things. Like beans and whiskey. Old Mervyn! Mervyn's cave, by which I mean hut. Fucking hell. It's it's the dude from Master and Commander who gets the skull fracture. It's him, you see. The Jonah. He's calling it up. You better hold fast. Um, oh, Captain Shoney says, oh, now you can get the witch's talisman. Of course we can. Fuck. Let's leap. See you later, old man Mervyn. Cursed tree, oh, it's fucking cold. and you know you are. Cursed tree, and you know you are. Jukebox three four five says, "Oh no, the West has become a battlefield." <laughs> Cursed tree, and you know you are. Approach that tree. You're back. My son's still old and decrepit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if getting that amulet from the tree might help him, but I got nowhere to reach it. Be so kind and cut this tree down, Bill. Bill grabbed the lumberjack's axe and set to work. If the curse had any effect on him, it didn't show. After an hour of hacking and chopping, the cursed tree toppled over and I grabbed the amulet from between the broken branches. Gained Talisman of the Witch. This charm belonged to a beautiful and bloodthirsty witch, thirsty witch of the Kiwota tribe. Before her death, she imbued the talisman with her spirit so she could keep helping her people. Each time its holder takes someone's life, the talisman heals the holder a little. Plus one health per kill. Great. I pocketed the amulet and we left our lumberjack and his son to their fate. Now then. 
Who gets? Who gets it? We've already got a trinket on on uh, Laughing Deer. There's Jin Carter. Flynn, Flynn and Bill have been like our top killers so far. Flynn has the lowest health pool. Out of everyone, actually. So let's give her that. I think that would be good. Also, you know, spooky magic. She does the spooky magic. So... David Jones says, Hi there, Skelly's Just arrived from work. Are we preparing for Deadlands? Does it make sense to join now, or should I start from the beginning? Uh, it would make sense if you joined now, but at the beginning I talk a little bit about Deadlands, if that's kind of interesting. Uh, anyway. We're off to visit an old man called Mervyn. Lucy says, Work over. Going home. Woohoo! All right. Um, safe travels, Lucy. Um, congrats on fin finishing work. I <laughs> I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Words are difficult. Words are very difficult. Alright. A neat old shack stood in the snow. A wiry old man was chopping wood. He's cooling it up, you see. Hey there, old timer. You living here all by your lonesome? Says Jin. Freya says, Flynn's posture is terrible. <laughs> uh, yeah. I like being by myself most of the time. What brings you bunch here? Talk with old Mervyn. You come to old Mervyn for a reason, didn't you? What do you want to know? Heard you might know a way out of this cursed valley. Yeah, I know my way around here better than anyone, and I'll be glad to help you. If you help me first. See, a while back a man from town came to visit me. He was looking for a way out of here, just like you. So I told him. Then we played cards. And let me tell you, he cheated me good. When I caught him, though, he grabbed all my money and lit out. Yeah, man. I think I can see where this is headed. I don't care much about the cash, but he also took a keepsake from me. You'll know it when you find it. I managed to plug in one in the back, but he got away anyway. My legs ain't much good for running and chasing these days. I saw him running toward Eastern Mountains, though. Nothing there but an old mine. Maybe he went there. So here's the deal. Find him, bring me back what he done took, and I'll help you. Got it? Got it. We'll find the huckster. All right, see you later, crazy old timer, says Jin. That's not a nice way to say goodbye to someone at all. All right, let's leave. Check out the collapsed tunnel. Should we pitch camp? Let's pitch camp. I just feel like it's been a while. We should talk to Deer. Carter, how did you end up in Boomtown? I jumped out the oh, window yeah. at the same moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ask about his past. Something is deeply wrong with you if you think you can just casually ask me about my past. Riding together, even killing together, does not give you that right. Even if I wanted to share my story with you, you could not possibly understand it. Cool, man. Good chat. You are a stubborn Oh, okay. One. Fine. I will speak. I come from the people of the Great Plains. Once we were free, the horizon was ours, and we belonged to the earth and the sky. Everything was in harmony for generations untold. And then your people. Sorry came. about that, quite genuinely. That's enough talking. Get some rest, LD. Talk with Bill. Tell me again about your life. Back in my breathing. Yeah. Ask about his past. I'm afraid so. Right. Is. Ask about his past. No Bill is companion. Chapter two. I love driving with the Cardinals, but it came to a bad end. Our leader, Jake, took this old book off of one of our victims and started reading it. First, he only joked about it, but then he started to quote stuff from it. Try some things with people we robbed. And at the time, everyone thought it was hilarious. Ooh. Me included. That doesn't sound good. It sounds quite ominous. Matt K. Fry guys, he said, my breathing days, not his breeding days. <laughs> Do not worry. Oh, you're doing a bit. One night, 
Me and the Cardinals were taking it easy in this little town, spending some of our hard, raw, big cash. Jacob was bored. So he broke out that damn book of his. Oops. And summoned something off. Oh, that's a bad website. It set the town on fire. And started slaughtering the townies as they came screaming out of their beds. Half of us embraced what happened. They just went right along with okay. it. The rest of it, including me, scattered and ran. Fair, Bill. Return. Thanks, Bill. That'll be all. Let's talk with Flynn. Hi, Flynn. How are you doing? No, nope, she's not companion yet. Thanks for talking, Flynn. Break camp. Ah. <laughs> Jukebox three four five says, nah, "I'm bored." Pass us the Necronomicon. Lucy says, "Kind of sounds like the Oxventurers." Touche. Well, let's go to a collapsed tunnel, shall we? Or I'll just go. The rest of you can stay there. Oh no, never mind. There they all are. Oh, we'll be back. Right, we stood in front of an entrance to a small mining shaft, blocked by rocks. The cave must have been pretty recent. If only someone had bought a, a pickaxe. Hannah Axelson, who never misses, says, If you wear a cowboy outfit, are you ranch dressing? Blood trail leads here. Seems like this Mervyn's con man ran out of luck. We can clear this passage with our bare hands. No thanks. We'll get a pickaxe. Harmonica times two. Oh no, we'll lose the pickaxe. Uh, get a harmonica, two whiskey, jack of clubs, nine of diamonds, jack of hearts. Well, let's do that because the dynamite will destroy the harmonica. No, it'll destroy the whiskey, and just just the whiskey. Wow, that's a that's a sturdy harmonica they got there. All right, get to work, folks. We can clear the passage with our bare hands. It took us a few hours to clear the entrance enough to crawl inside. There we found an outlaw's corpse. Seemed like he bled to death. He had some useful items with him, including a silver harmonica with the name Mervyn card carved on it. Oh, right. Yes, Mervyn's... Let's get Mervyn his harmonica back. Okay. You unlock new cards. Open the cards menu by clicking its icon at the top right of the screen. Huxter's loot. A. Hey. Huxter's loot. Cards. Depending on the arrangement of the cards in a character's hand, you can unlock skills and traits. For example, select Laughing Deer and put a pair of jacks, with an erroneous apostrophe, in his hands to unlock his skill. Notice there are also some unique traits that can be unlocked only by achieving certain loyalty level. Okay. So, a couple of jacks. Uh, Jack of Hearts will give him plus three ma max HP. Certainly don't hate that. And the Jack of Clubs will make him even faster. And that also unlocks Wild Run 1. AP cost 1 plus, base damage 4, requires at least pair. Deer's headlong charge increases his base damage for 1 point by every 2 spaces he crosses. Does not trigger counter. That's great. So if he's properly from downtown, takes a massive run up, and then just boink, absolutely nails someone. Now, that's interesting. Who's got the 9? Flynn's got the 9 of spades, so let's give her the 9 of diamonds. That is her pair. Unlock Stroke of Luck. If Flynn has at least 100 luck points, she does. She gets plus 10% bullseye chance. Well, that's very useful, isn't it? This is much more the system I wanted to see in the first Hard West. I'm really glad they've upgraded it. That's very cool. Alright, now let's look at the inventory. Harmonica, that's a quest item. Whiskey. Whiskey. So if you drink it, you get 4 max HP and you heal 4 HP. Alright. Um, let's give Jin some whiskey. That'll be vaguely amusing. Old Man Bill... You can have some whiskey too. Alright. Old Mervin. Lucy says, you'll know it when you see it. Actually, he just wrote his name on it. But isn't that a nice way of saying, I wrote my name on it? You will know it when you see it. It's like, you know, what's the, the meme where they're like, here are some ways to sound mysterious when answering different questions. It's like, I'm not having kids. My line ends with me. Brilliant. 
Love it. Talk with old Mervyn. You came to old Mervyn for a reason, didn't you? What do you want to know? We spoke to you two minutes ago. Is that your... Is that harmonica yours, Grandpa? The man guffawed and snatched the harmonica. He smacked his lips and blew into it, forcing out some false notes. He grinned, happy as a pig in shit. <laughs> do you know how to leave this damn valley? You're welcome. Now, do you know how to leave this damn valley? There's always whistle pa There's always whistle pass down to the south. I reckon it's blocked by snow too, but it's tight enough you might be able to blast through it. If you could scrounge up some of that famous blue dynamite from the old mine down that way. Huh? I hear that a group of bandits set up camp there. No, sorry. I hear that a group of bandits set up camp there now, though. In that case, you should try this mountain path. The old man scribbled a simple map in the snow. That way you could maybe surprise them from inside. Should at least give you a fighting chance. Crystal Pass it is, then. Leave. Leave. Alright. Sneak into Whistle Pass. Whistle, where are we going? Whistle way. Secret passage. Alright. If I'd wanted to freeze my ass off, I'd have stayed in Chicago. This is... I'm enjoying this a lot. It's good fun. Also, the story is marginally less harrowing than the first one. The first one was like, your entire family's dead. Go get revenge if you can. Nice which says, good horse content this. Yep, there you go. We sneaked through the mountain path that Mervyn showed us and soon we were looking at the enemy camp from above. We can either fight or leave. Let's fight. Let's do this thing. Use Jin's shadow barrage to hit at least three enemies at once. We'll get $15 for that. All right. Everyone got your stuff? Everyone got some things? Let's do it. Everyone's got the beans? My aunt says, oh, so I'm remembering this game involving a bounty hunter woman then. I think so. No, that was that was weird. No, that was Was it Weird West? What was what was the other one? The one where you can kick birds. And there are pigmen. Yeah, it was it was Weird West. Um so that's the bounty hunter woman. Um in uh in Hard West you actually change perspectives a few times. One of them you're like hunting down a cult. Anyway, good posse sticks together no matter the odds. When one of your teammates gets separated, they can easily get flanked and overwhelmed by the enemies. I'll tell you what's overwhelming me right now, my renal system. I need to pee. So I'm going to pee. I'll be back in two minutes. I'm just going to mute my mic, enjoy this Wild West music, and a look at this gun. Oh, shit. So, we murder all the trash in here. What then? First of all, we need to get some of that blue dynamite. Yes, that might mean we need to clear out these marauders. That's a lot of people. Then we take the explosives to the block pass. Boom! Boom! We got a way out. <laughs> Let's oh move. yeah! Neo Hamilton says Weird West, the one where enemies go, ooh, Looks when they like die. We know we're here. I forgot about that. Um, you're right, Matt. You do change perspectives in Weird West too, though. But it, in the, 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 the yes, but um, shut up. <laughs> right, I'm gonna pee. Move back in uh, two minutes, if that. I'll leave you with the nice music and the look at this rifle man. All right.
Let's kill that guy specifically. He's got five health, and I will not... I, I'm guaranteed to hit him, so we may as well just plug him. Um, and then there are some other fellows. But what we could do... We could get Flynn to swap Ola with this guy. I would like that. It would hurt her, but we're going to do it. Because it means that guy can die anyway. But also, it's nice to have Flynn up there... Providing some high ground. Now Flynn can see some things. Anyway. Um, one and only. One and only. You are the one and only. Will do. We're going to get Jin to move up. And then shoot that guy. And then he's got himself some of that good old fashioned bravado. So we can move him way up. Let's move him there for now. I'm not seeing any other pesky fellas. That's the thing. Yeah? Yeah? Flynn, I am actually kind of fine with you being there. I'd like you to hunker down for now, just in case. Yeah? Yeah! <laughs> old man Bill's a, What's the an problem? ordinary old, old fella. A real asshole. Ready like always. And laughing deer is ready like always. Let's stack him up there with Bill. And then Jin. We can move up to here. Alright, alright. Ah, look! Enemies. Oh no! Oof dear! Ugh, go away, rifle man! Shotgunner! Uh oh. Uh oh, that seems bad for me. Need a new spot. Was it, did that go to speak with an English accent? They need a new spot! Ready when you are. Hugh says, imagine someone sprinting past you, getting winded, so they turn around and shoot you, and in your dying moments, you use them. you watch them use the glee of the kill to sprint off again. Yep. Life's tough in the West. Alright. Now that's interesting. Because... Hang on. Let's go back to Flynn. Throwing dynamite costs one AP. So what we could do... Is move her up. Easy. Again. For the extra movement. And then, chuck in the dynamite. Yeah, chuck in the dynamite to kill those two. Then we got the bravado on the go. Bravado is so good. Holy shit. Ugh. It doesn't quite work. I'd love to, that she won't be in cover if she goes there. But she won't be able to see anyone if she stays here. Let's move her up. Smart! Smart! Oh, 75% chance to hit that guy. Well, let's use some luck. Oh, that was using luck. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, not, not a great amount of, of damage, but... You think they call me laughing deer because I waste my time on tears? Goodness, I don't know, laughing, laughing deer. That's a kind of a big question, isn't it? All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I could do that. We need to use it to hit three enemies at once. Well, it's optional. Let's not think about the optional objectives, shall we? Let's have a think about what's tactically good. I think actually, yeah, using his um, shoot through ability to do six damage to both of these is pretty decent. But that means I'm going to need to take out this shotgunner. But that's okay, because I've got two dudes left. I can do that. Dodge this! Nice one, Jin. Alright. And then Jin. 
I would like you, please, to... Oh, you could get up there? Sure, fuck it, why not? Let's put Jin up there. Right. It's only half cover, but it's not too bad. Take your time. Take your time. Right, old man Bill. Cannot miss this dude. So what we'll do is shoot him, right? Step one. Ready, like always. And then we'll do him in with laughing deer. Get some bravado on the go. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh fuck! No, that's not what I wanted to do! Oh, but I can actually do it again? Okay, fine. Oh yeah, because of bravado. Okay, great. So we'll kill this guy. Oh, I didn't kill that guy. Oh, that's bad. What I wanted to do was go kill that gunman up top who had four health and then loop back around. Because now I just got shot. Uh-oh. 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 Just Wow, that shotgun loves to reposition. Alright, well, you know what? All's well that ends well. Let's do that. And then... This is going to do an obscene amount of damage. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no, wait. We can just get in with a normal one. Alright, we'll do that. I will. I'm going to do I might send him in, you know. Or what we could do. Switch to Bill. We could pull Bill into a flanking position. I don't know why I'm so keen now for... For... No, this is silly. Silly, don't pull back. Lines. Ready, like always. All right, all right. All right, Bill, yeah. what are we saying? Well, you can't actually kill him, can you? So actually, no, it does make the most sense to move him. Put old yeah. man Bill there. Yeah. And then we'll shoot that guy. He's mine. Right. And then laughing deer. <gasps> yeah, can get all the way in there and kill that guy. Done and done. He's so good at this. This is where he's great. He just moves so far. I mean, he can go all the way back up here again for, for, for crying out loud. All the way up there. Let's do it. Let's move him back up. Old man Bill's getting left in the dust. Hunker down. One and I'm actually going to slow down a bit. Because what I don't want to do is leave um, Bill too far behind. So I'm going to hunker him down. And Flynn... Oh, I can stack up Flynn over here. Let's do that. Uh, Welsh Spider has done a super chat saying it's Dreadlock, it's Dreadlock Removal Girl. Still at it. Catch VOD. Um, that is taking you a while, but I'm glad you're keeping at it. Um, it's better than just having to, to hack them off, I can only imagine. So yeah, good luck with the rest of it. Um, and I'll catch you on VOD. In fact, if you're back here and you're watching this on VOD, hello! Hello, hello again! Um... Old man Bill, let's put you up there. Come on, you old fella. A price on my head just means. Addy Wrongleg says, "Left in the dust is old man Bill's origin story, isn't it?" Very strong. Really enjoyed that. What's the play? What's the play? It's uh, Titus Andronicus, actually. <laughs> All right. Let's put Flynn we'll leave there. It to me. We'll leave it to you, Flynn. You're a stone called badass. Let's just go for it. Steady. Boink. Oh, yeah. We put Laughing Deer there. 
got a 100% chance to hit and a 15% chance to just total this guy. Set me loose! Ah, I really, I was really hoping for it. One and only. One and only. All right, let's move Jen in. What? Oh, whoops. Can I ricochet off something to increase the chance? No, that's worse. Let's just try it. Let's dance. Oh! Ooh, Nelly! More gunmen! I'm gonna make some new holes in you. Uh oh. Oof! Oh, there's so many! Might be time for that. Ability of gins. Holy shit! Yeah. Um, Wandering Weird has done a super chat saying, What is it called when Jin shoots an enemy on the run? Mobile shoot gunman. Mobile shoot gunman. I don't get it. Mobile shoot gunman. Mobile shoot gunman. There's something I'm missing here. Mobile suit Gundam. Of course! Liked it, sorry, that's my fault, not yours. It is a good joke that I chronically undersold. Really badly. Zegi Genesis quite rightly says, Gun damn it, Johnny! Yep, 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 yep. Alright, okie dokie. Now then! I need to be a lot closer to use that ability without shooting one of my friends. I mean, I'm already at 100... Well, hang on a minute. 75% chance to shoot that guy. But if I ricochet it... No, that's out of range. All right. 75... But I've been burnt by 75% shot chances before. I see you've played knifey spoony before. Flynn's not in such a great position either. She could shadow swap or whatever it's called. I keep wanting to call it shadow walk because that's what the Doomtown uh, thing is called. That's a 50% chance. Now, Wild Run. Now, that's interesting. Would kill that guy. Would just straight up murder that guy. Let's do it. Come on, laughing deer. Well, that was convincing. And now we'll just plug this dude. Okay, Laughing Deer is an absolute machine. Holy shit, dude. And I could... I'm going to do it. I'm going to go hit this guy. Hopefully do some bullseye damage. No, but that's all right. And then let's just tuck him back up there. But we could tuck him all the way back here. It'd be perfectly safe. Holy fuck. Laughing, dear. Who's laughing now? That's right. It's you. Fuck. That was tremendous. For um, I am looking for trouble, Flynn. Looks like these assholes found it. Okay, where can I put Flynn that'll give me a 100% shot? I'd have to flank that dude. Okay. Good lord. Argy Ryan says no wonder he... Uh, sorry, Ryan says no wonder he has a price in his head in four states. Yeah! Fuck. Jesus. All right, old man Bill. Catch up. Oh, oh no, that's... Yeah, that is old man Bill. Let's just move him. Old man... Old man Bill! That's impossible. Not enough Even AP. Let's hunker him down. Okay. Hmm. 
silly 75% shot chances. Let's move him there. Let's move him up. Ugh, no valid targets with that. What if we ricochet? Aha! 100% chance to hit. Eyes on the prize. Puring! Puring! Now, what if we move Flynn here? Can she ricochet off that? Yes. It's not. There's only a three percent chance to kill this guy. Oh, I don't need it. He's only got five health. Let's just do it. Let's just shoot. Yes. Just warming up, boys. Yes. And then we could send her in. That guy's. It won't. She won't kill him though. No one's got any AP left. I was wondering if we could shadow swap and then someone else could plug him. Let's do this. What's the magic word? Please. The magic word is bullets. <laughs> Let's do it. Got it. Uh, ooh. Well, someone's going to eat some beans. Let's do this. I think this is yours to take, isn't it, Flynn? Easy. Hello, sir. I'll try. Real angry? She fucking executed him. Oh my god. Right. Some celebratory beans, I think. Mmm, beans. Good lord. That was a intense. Let's get this right, up. old man Bill. You need to get the fuck in there. Good lord! That was very much a lot, wasn't it? I wish I knew where the, where the actual bad guys were. One and only. Gun Carter. Well, the one and only Gun Carter. Just hanging out and back. Fucking Gun Carter. Buddy Wrongleg says, when did that unnatural winter lift? Because these people have no chill. I know, right? Bloody hell. Oh, Nice Witch says this has me very much wanting to make a cheesy bean toasty. Oh, God, that is very, very tempting. I'm going to move Flynn in. No line of sight on anyone. That's good news, because I'm going to stack up laughing here. Oh, cheesy bean toasty got some beans in the cupboard, but it's from when a friend came to Catsit and they bought no added sugar beans. And they're horrible. They're bleeding horrible. Um, do we want to eat some beans? Laughing deer's like, let's eat some beans, come on. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Well, that could have been worse. All right. We're using Laughing Deer last. Or are we? No, we're not. What are we going to do? Okay. This is how... Riffleman, you're going to swap. All right, Flynn. And then... You're going to shoot this guy. All right. Laughing deer. I need you... I kind of just need you to get out of the way for now. No, this guy. How much would this guy? No, that wouldn't even kill him. But I do need Laughing Deer to get out of the way. So, you know what? We will. We'll go hit this dude. Let's go hit him. Let's go hit him. 
And we'll work out what to do with him in just a sec. Because what I want to do is use Jen to come in here. All right, all right. And hopefully. No, I can only get two of them. I wanted to get three with this silly ability. But you know what? We'll absolutely take the double bravado, won't we? Now, the question is... That's what we do. Oh, there's a guy up there. Shit, I didn't see him. Ooh, 50% chance to kill him. Can I ricochet it? No, bad angle. Can I ricochet... Out of view. All right. 50% chance to slug that guy. I think what I would rather do... Oh, he's got six health. Shit. Okay, here's what we'll do with Jin. Ready when you are. Jin is going to shoot... Seriously, Jin? Fifty percent chance for this to pay off. I may as well make the shot. No, I should make the shot on this one. Oh, this this is fun. This is really really good fun. Uh, so what? So here's what I'm thinking. We've got a guy who's not doing so well over here, and we can move Laughing Deer out the way. So if we weaken this guy, we should be able to send in Old Man Bill. To there, he'll have a 75% chance of drilling that guy. Which, if he's already been shot by Jin, will kill him. That means I can then shoot this dude and kill him. And then hopefully reposition. But it, basically, we've got options. We have got options, actually. Because what it could do is Old no, Man, old man Bill's pistol. Oh man, Bill's pistol does six damage. Oh, we're great. We're great anyway. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, cool. Oh man. Okay. Well, let's take the shot with Jin and just see what Jin does. Oh, we could try it on that guy. Let's fuck it. Let's try and shoot this guy. Why not? Yes, yes Jin. Yes, Jin. So now we're gonna move. Oh, wah, 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 wah. We're gonna move Jen into cover here, and then Jen's gonna shoot that guy. Shut up. Take your time. Take your time. Well, in that case, oh, with laughing deer, we could hit this guy. We could just bean him, but then he'd be out in the open. <laughs> but who's there to kill him? All right, let's do it. Let's beam this guy. So that old man Bill has an easy... Well, no, I didn't need to do that, did I? Oh, it doesn't matter. Old man Bill. Kill that guy, please. Yes! So then comes the bravado, which means that he can move. That guy is really stuck in cover, isn't he? Oh wait, 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 where was where was it? Where was it? I saw it tick up to hundred percent somewhere. Uh, oh, if I go straight next to him. Well I can't do that, because I need to be. This guy's hard to shoot. I, wow! That guy's difficult to ah. But what if I were to move? Nope, he's just hard to shoot. Okay. Mm. Megan M has done a super sticker. The super sticker is of a lemon person. Imagine that someone's head turned into a lemon, and then their entire body turned into the same kind of like yellowy substance, skin, if you will. Um, and then they were sort of just running around like this, like hooray! But then they skidded to their knees like a child at a party in a village hall and threw out their arms, and when they did that, like a lovely cape that looks like lemon segments kind of spread out behind them, and they looked fucking overjoyed. That's what Megan M's just uh, bestowed upon us all. Thank you, Megan. 
There is no way to make this shot better. Unless we could... No, it's still only 50%. Dang it. Fuck. Yeah. Shit. Bastards. Shouldn't have left him yes, in the boy. open. Shouldn't have left him out there. Alright, laughing deer. You've earned this one. Actually... Yeah? I got no, six bullets you have learned to earn this one. Laughing deer, what happens if you walk over laughing here? Or laughing here? Well, you'll get, you know what, you'll get bravado. Let's walk up right behind this guy and shoot him. To fear me. That's right, you shot him so hard you stuck your hand through him before you pulled the trigger. Alright, now let's move you up. See what we can see. Well, there are some folks in there, right enough. Those are bandits inside the railway building, if ever I've seen them. Now, uh, Flint. Where can we move Flint? Stack Flint up here. Why not? Yeah. Old man Bill. Just walk faster, please. I'm t yeah, I'm gonna put old man Bill in here. I just want everyone mm. up. Up go. Laughing Deer can't see anyone. That would be an incredible shot, though, if he could. Uh, Jen. Jen, Jen, Jen. Jen! I'm um, Jen Carter. Bah, bah, bah. Ooh, blimey. Jin's, Jen can move, though. He can hustle, can't he? Hey? Hey? <laughs> Weird. Uh, Alright, Jen. We're just going to stack you up Will there. Do. Oh, well now, it would be rude not to do this. Not enough AP. Ah, oh, not enough AP. Out of range for those lads. All right, you know what, Laughing Deer? Maybe, maybe, maybe we don't do that. I'm sorry. That that enemy was called what? That enemy was called this one's mine. what? Watting drunk? Exploding what? A watting what? Okay. All right. First things bloody first. We can kill that man dead. If we just run up to him. So I think we will. Bravado! I love him. I love him. What if I moved him in? What if I just what if we just tucked him in here? He's unbelievable. He's unstoppable. Right. Because what I'm gonna do is Are you mad? Oh no, not enough AP! Silly! I didn't I didn't count it properly. Okay, let's hide him. <gasps> yes! Look at him! He's so quick! I will. So quick! Great. 
Ooh, Doc Zock has done a super chat saying, I just came back after dyeing my What's hair pink. Short for? My fucking temper. That's what. Christ. <laughs> I'm sorry about the gin there. Uh, Doc Zock has uh, done a super chat saying, I just came back after dyeing my hair pink, which turned out great, by the way. What did I miss? Well, firstly, congratulations on the, on the new hair color. That sounds great. And secondly, uh, let's see. Oh, well, this t how much of yeah that will take two of my AP if I do that. Um, mm. Secondly, what have you missed? What have you what missed? Um, well, sorry, I'm thinking through my go. Uh, what have you missed? Um, we've killed a lot of people. We've discovered that um, that our good friend uh, Laughing Deer is uh, an absolute machine. And the last 30 minutes, it's just been a lot of killing. I went for a wee. That's something. Okay. This is a little tricky. Because we've got a 25 health exploding drunk there. That that worries me. We've got this rifleman. And we've also got the shotgunner. I'd love to do lots of damage to that shotgunner. Laughing deer's out of action points. Between all three of us, we can put out five from Jin. Let's do this. Five from Flynn. And six from old man, old man Bill. That is enough to kill this shotgun. The, my question is... Looking for trouble? Can Flynn make that shot work? Zero percent chance to hit. Okay. Fifty percent chance to hit that guy. What I'm thinking is... I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna try it. I'm just gonna try it. See me shuffle. We're gonna shadow swap. Shadow, shadow swap this guy in. Okay. And then we'll leave her there for now. Jen. I would like you to shoot this guy. Eyes on the prize. Okay. And then, old man, Bill. I reckon you can shoot that good. Two. Oh, I'm gonna be one HP short. Yeah, I'll get him. Okay. So Flynn, you can't make that shot. It's 25% chance to hit him. Okay, she needs to hustle. got a 50% chance of hitting that guy. If she makes this shot, it'll be absolutely incredible. So let's try it. <laughs> hey, yes, please. And then we move her in here. Smart. You are smart. Oh, I moved her twice. No. She's not got the AP to shoot. I didn't pay enough attention. Well, one of us is getting shot. Punk it down there, Flynn. You keep pulling that trigger, you're gonna break it off. Whoops, a Daisy. Oh man, should I eat some beans? <laughs> Punk it down there, Jen. The shotgun a missed. The shotgun a missed. Oh god. Oh, he's a drunk who's got lots of explosives. Well, that's different. All right, Jen, eat some beans. I can't believe that just happened. All right, Flynn. How would you feel that that would be too AP? Because of course I'm still it here. I'm still here. You suck. He doesn't suck. I love old man Bill. Okay, Jen, gonna move you there. 
Why am I like this? Why am I like this? Why do I keep moving? Why am I like this? Okay. Ready to roll. You know what? We're gonna go back to someone who's competent. Go kill that shotgun. Nice switch says, Okie dokie pals, it's time for me to go. Take care, Skellies. Have a lovely holiday, Johnny. Thank you very much, Nice Switch. I'll be streaming on um I'll be streaming on uh Monday. But um uh, but then I'll be off after that. So um I'm still here. Old man Bill can move. When he wants to. If I move him here, he'll not be in cover at all. I don't want to bunch anyone up, actually. Alright. Jin, you're a useless sack of shit. <laughs> Let's move you, my buddy, to here. Mm. Brittany Hamilton says, you know what the game the next stream will be? Absolutely no idea. Yeah. I tend to leave it until the very day I'm streaming, just to see what 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 pops out of the old noggin. What a fancy uh, what a fancy streaming. All right. Uh, the thing is, we know that the rifleman can hit from there. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna do it. Lero Letavara says counting to three can be tricky. It can. It's it's not easy. One. One. Not enough AP. See? It's hard. Death approaches. Death approaches. And it's just eaten some beans. I could go and womp the ex I mean the exploding guy, what's he gonna do? Is he gonna throw dynamite at his own feet? Let's go hit him, laughing deer. Why not? Here we go. Would have been great if that was your ability there. But it's still got a turn left on cooldown. Yes, laughing deer! Absolutely phenomenal. We love to see it. Now, if I this is important. Fifty percent chance to hit. If she goes. Where's the how far can I move her? Right. There's the bound okay, there's our boundary. There's the boundary. And I wouldn't be able to see that fucker. 50% chance if I keep myself right out in the open, which is not ideal. 50% chance if I go there, inside the building. 50% I'm happy to let this combat run to another turn. I just want to make sure I can actually... I could get all the way up here, actually. That'd be kind of fun. Or all the way up here. Let's do that. Easy. Then she can flank. Chris Field says, play XCOM. It's great. Brutal but br br great. I love XCOM. Don't get me wrong. But, um... I didn't get on with XCOM 2, actually. Oh, he had a shotgun! Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> I didn't get on with XCOM 2. I loved Chimera Squad, though. I thought Chimera Squad was absolutely phenomenal. Alright, Flynn. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get up here. We're going to shoot this guy. Good shot. Patience. Patience yourself, old man Bill. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to laughing deer. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to hit this guy. Right? Then we're going to hit this guy. Then we're going to hit this guy. I hope he doesn't explode. There we go. <laughs> Right, get supplies of blue dynamite. Sure. Well. Off you go then, buddy. Done and done. Done and done. Ta-da! Mission accomplished. Whoop, whoop. All right, everyone. Get back. Get back. was wild. Keep it down. Won't take much to start another avalanche. Probably not. Once we get out, 
What then? Go after the ghost train. Fucking mammon. He suckered us in and then cheated us cold. Yeah. We'll track him down. We'll get back everything he took from us, and then we'll send him back to hell. Big words, Carter. But that's where you've always been, right? Big, empty words. Well, who's saying that? Clive? Shit. Is that you? This is some kind of a trick. Kestrel Cult is dead. Uh-oh. That'd be awfully convenient for you, wouldn't it? We are done with the easy way. Oh, down. no. Hard West 2. Okay, Fry Guy says the jump in production quality from Hard West 1 to this is bafflingly huge. It's massive, isn't it? But it's so good. Ah. Ooh, we got some cards and things. Jack of Diamonds. Max Luck plus 11. Well, I think we'll be making a three of a kind on uh, Laughing Deer. There we go. Snow Ninja Sandcat says, is this the end of the demo? This isn't the demo. This is the full game. Although... This does feel like a good place to end the stream. Because I am... Um... Uh... Tired. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. And uh, this just feels like a decent... Ah, provisions! I, th I thought there was something missing from the camp bit. Um... What did I tell you about making noise back here? Luckily, no one's a blur. Who or what was that thing? You seem to know you. Next time I see him, I'll make sure I shoot first. It was Clive! Kestrel Colt, uh, a friend. We used to ride together. Anyway, we thought that Mammon killed him. Maybe we can still save him. Maybe there's hope for him. Thanks for standing up for me back there. All right, okie dokie. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna call an end to the stream there because it's about that time, really. Um, this has been good fun though. I will be back on Saturday with new episodes of Preston Kiadini. Well, actually. Uh, if you're that way inclined, I'll be back in on your screens tomorrow because the first episode of uh, Oxventure Presents Deadlands is going live tomorrow. Uh, once this stream ends, you'll be uh, automatically redirected to that watch page so you can set a reminder if you haven't already or if you want to bookmark the stream or whatever it is you want to do. Uh, if you want to come back and watch it tomorrow, then uh, that will be good fun because I'm really, really, really excited about it. Um, I've got uh, Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. There's a link in chat and in the description of this video. If you are able to support me directly and you would like to, that would be great. Um, like I say, I'll be back again. So I'm back tomorrow, then I'm back again on Saturday with new episodes of Press Nikki Adini. Ghost of Tsushima continues. And then Monday I will be streaming, and then I'm going to be gone on holiday for a week. Um, which will be delightful. And I will return... Uh, ooh... Well, we hmm. I'll get back on Wednesday. I'll sort something out. I'll be back. I'll be back for Press Any Kiadini if I'm not back streaming the week after. We'll work it out. It'll all be fine. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll, I'll try and stream the day after I land, but we'll see how that goes. Um, lots of love, everybody. Thank you so much for the stream and for hanging out and asking questions about Deadlands and uh, just for being chill and, and watching some hard west. So thank you all. Have a lovely rest of your day and uh, take care of yourselves. Goodbye.